voices inside my head, the voices behind the wall, uplifting the underdog, we fighting above the law. Hi guys. Hey Trulia. Hey Daylin. Cotton candy boobs. Starzilla. Punksy. Lips. CP. What was that? CP cosplay. Smala. Shauma. Sanya. Vexing Vixen. Nitro Racer. Sass Nass. Okay, all of you go just do me up. You guys want to see him quick? Because he's scratching me. Red Miller. Hi. Hi. I'm so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're both outside that door, so just don't do it. Squids. Hey, Ray J. Chaos Queen, Lori, let's go back up here. Oh, lots of people. <gasps> Cousin Tracy, Georgia Girl, Shuby Mom, Sam I Am, hey Carrie. Uh, oh, I thought I saw Aluminum Brains. Under your scars. Yep. Cheerio, Aluminum Brains. <laughs> I think we got both Cousin Tracys in here. We got, Or is it both just... Two cousins. I don't know about Tracy. I gotta grab me a Pepsi. I'm already boiling hot, so. You grab me one too, huh? Yeah. Mrs. V. Bridget Servi. Daylin. Donna S. Am I prepared? I am not prepared. This is. I am here for emotional support. <laughs> Buckle up, play nice. Well, we're going to just dive right into this bullshit. So, I actually just got done reading something that um, Ms. Ziggy still wants to continue calling me a liar and saying that she can prove that I never spoke to Ronnie Lawson. So, if you can actually prove that with text messages from Michelle, please fucking prove that because it actually happened live today ziggy live 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 so what happened was huh i made my calls now yes everyone knows hawkins county is shut for the weekends right but there's lots of other places you can call other than hawkins county now here's the thing of people who are defending her lies really just gets me you can unsub me right now because if you're okay with her telling little lies now here's the thing michelle said the lie last night or not last night the night before last night it was michelle talking benny ziggy was on the panel ziggy's panel a lot of people were like well why aren't you upset at benny Benny wasn't the one saying the lies. He was up on the panel, but if you actually listen to that live, there's nothing to say that Benny was actually buying the shit. He was just like, oh, oh, really? Oh, oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Kind of just like, I don't get the vibe. He was buying what she was selling whatsoever, but he was just being polite on the panel, whatnot, right? So uh, Michelle's saying this. Here's the problem is that Ziggy knew. You even heard the words coming out of her mouth right she knew she and she was actually trying to like set it up well i can't prove that this is right or you know you know it could come out that it's a hoax if you even have that thought why are you continuing the live stream with this lady talking if you can actually sit there and say this might turn out to be a hoax i don't know that tells me you didn't vet now you're saying she's texting ronnie lawson at like midnight last night to warn him what happened now 
you say that you can prove, let me read the text messages I was just sent or off of some screenshots that I was just sent. Thank you, Tiffany, by the way, for sending me this. Get me all riled up right before the live. Mm -hmm. So Miss Ziggy says, you guys, I've got absolute proof that would really make her look bad. I have proof of Lawson saying that he didn't talk to Cher. I have to just convince her to let me show it. Show it. Michelle, if you have text messages from Ronnie Lawson, show it. Here's the thing. How will we really know it's Ronnie Lawson unless we have the phone number and we, we know like it's Ronnie Lawson's phone number? You could be texting anyone. Just like I think that the CPS source could be anyone because she fucked up and actually gave me her cps worker phone number too which is being called on as well i started the calls today which will continue on tomorrow as well she fucked up and she knew she fucked up because she was like oh shit, please don't dox this person i won't dox her i'm not going to share her phone number online or nothing but what i am going to do is if this is really a person that works her cps she's being reported she's going to be in big trouble i was actually looking up the laws since there is a gag order on the boys this woman if this is really a lady from cps she can go to prison for what she done there's a gag order on this so this is a huge problem hey lip lock i can see everyone saying hi to you um so i do have that information <laughs> yeah the her cps source she fucked up and she was sending me the screenshots from, yes, Ziggy the creator, Ziggy the liar is what I'm calling her now. She fucked up and left the phone number of her CPS source on the text and didn't scratch it out of one of the text messages. So I now have this CPS worker's information. So there's a whole nother can of worms opening up there. Ziggy, thanks to you for wanting to find it necessary to call me a liar in the middle of the fucking night when I'm not lying. I will not come up on my platform and knowingly lie or help spread misinformation. Does that happen with creators by mistake sometimes? Yes. Mm. In fact, it happened this morning. Lips was sharing with us. Can you make sure Lips is blue? Lips was sharing with us information and we got it wrong. But as we're live, we're saying, oh, we got that wrong. We're, we're, Vetting as we go and keeping it real with you guys and telling you guys, nope, this is wrong. We made a mistake. We're telling you. The problem with Ziggy is that she knew that it could be a lie and that it might be a lie and she continued it on. Here's the thing. She privately tried to convince me of not just this lie, but other lies. She actually told me that TBI doesn't even work on Summer's case anymore. She tried to say I was lying about being in contact with TBI. She, she was like, they handed her case off. No, the fuck they didn't. No, the fuck they didn't at all. I always come on my platform exactly vexing vixen with transparency. Later, after I get through, I will be dropping the link if, if she wants to come up and defend herself. But there is no defending herself from this. In fact, she even said to me, it's like you think I'm part of a conspiracy theory or something. What? Why the fuck are you even saying that? I never said that. But what really got me is if you're trying to convince me and I'm really hard to convince, who's to say who other people she is trying to convince? Not only that, you let this go on your platform and that's how misinformation is spread. People are going to take that and run with it and start going around, going around. Now, the thing is, we said last night, we always knew there was four hours missing, three to four hours. We know this. This is not new. But mm. when Michelle went on the panel and said this two nights ago, Ziggy was like, oh, what? Oh, my God. What? You mean something happened and they didn't call 911 for four hours? What? She was acting like this is brand new information. It's not. And I'm kind of watching the chat, but not as some of you all know, that know me know when I'm on a roll, I can't really pay attention to checks. I have so much I've been dying to get out of here. Um, now, she said Ronnie Lawson um, told her, you know, he knows I'm going to go on YouTube. He knows I've been watching. And Ronnie told me to come on YouTube. So I'm doing it here on your channel, Ziggy. He told me to come on YouTube and ask y'all to find where's the four hours before they called 911, right? That is all bullshit. Ronnie Lawson did not say that. Now, Miss Ziggy is saying she has absolute proof. Where'd that go? Where'd that go? 
You guys, I've got absolute proof that really would make her look bad. I have proof of Lawson saying he didn't talk to Cher. Technically, that is right. He himself did not talk to me, but he was there and told the lady what to tell me. Here's exactly how that call went down. Ring, ring, ring. This is Cher calling back. I have spoke to blah, blah, blah at the blah, blah, blah unit. They told me that I could get a hold of him today or that he would be calling me today. I waited past the time, about an hour and a half past the time. Boom, I called the checkup. Now, this is Cher. They know who I am. I've actually spoken to Ronnie Lawson a few times. I've spoken to many of the people involved in this case several, several times, right? Several is the number in this case, right? So, oh, Ziggy always will say stuff and then try to backpedal, right? But anyways, that aside, she says she has absolute proof because Michelle was texting and that Ronnie told this lady he never talked to me. Prove that then, but you can't exactly prove that, uh, absolutely prove that without showing Lawson's number so that we can vet and know that it's really Ronnie Lawson. Because my problem is today, ring, 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 this is Cher, you know me, with YouTube. Yes, I am going to be putting this statement on my YouTube channel, as they all know I have. Now, my problem uh, is Mr. Ronnie Lawson in right now. I was told I could call him at such and such time or that he would call me. Uh, no, Ronnie Lawson is busy right now. Can I leave him a message for him to call you back? Well, this is kind of important because in the last 48 hours, his old, um, what did I call her? her? His old partner who retired in 2016, whose name is Michelle Bleep, has went on a YouTube <coughs> panel of Ziggy's and said that Ronnie Lawson told her to go on YouTube and ask us all for this, you know, to search for this four hours. And I specifically said, I don't really believe that came from Ronnie Lawson, ma'am, because Ronnie Lawson kind of puts down YouTube. And she was like, yes, oh, exactly, no, I don't think that came from her, or from him. As soon as I mentioned Michelle's name, can you please hold? Okay, then hooked me up to his, like the, uh, I think it might, like his partner. So it took me from one gal to the, the next gal who's closer to him, right? told her the whole spiel and she kind of giggled and she was like, no, no. And then she was like, and I was like, okay, well, you know, apparently he told her to make this statement for him on YouTube. So I would like to go on YouTube and, and say like, so is that true? Like, should we be helping with this four hours or what? And she goes, please hold a minute. I said, okay. And then all of a sudden this lady comes back on the phone, ma'am, Cher, I just spoke with Ronnie Lawson, and this is what he said. Now, this all happened live. So how Ziggy can actually claim I never spoke with him or got a statement from him? We all know this number. We know this number. I'm not lying. Like, I would have to be lying and making up this phone number, right? Anyone aware this phone number? It's public information. Oh, you can't. Mm, I'll do it. It's public information. Google Hawkins County Sheriff's Office. Google what phone number comes up. One, four, two, three. It's just so bright. It's so bright. Here, let me try this behind it, maybe. Maybe with this. Does that help? Can you guys see the number? Oh, there we go. You see it? I'm not trying to be difficult, I swear. It's focused. It's just the screen is so bright. I will put it on a screen. Actually, it is on a community post. If you guys would like to go over there and look, <clears throat> I am not lying about it. I would not come on my platform and tell a lie about Sheriff Ronnie Lawson in the Summer Wallace case or make it up, okay? The phone call was four minutes, seven seconds. That's all the time they needed to say. Absolutely not. Ronnie Lawson did not say that. So, um... Give me a minute here and I'm going to pull up what I spliced together. Actually, you have it on your life and I know the time stamp. We will go there. Oh, I, I, uh, cropped, I cut it out and downloaded it. If you want to do that. Well, it's the whole live, right? Or just that one part? No, I'll just, I know the time stamp. I'll just pull it up. Oh, Unless you're going to strike me for it. No, I won't strike you for it. So that's why I downloaded it for you. Well, either way, I have to pull it up on share screen anyway, so. Thank you. 
All right, give me a moment, guys. Let's get this ad out of here, which is why he probably downloaded it, but I have a timestamp, so. It's right around there. I know, 24, 45 is the same. Okay, so, okay, I am sharing. Okay, so we're gonna play through this. You can watch how it plays out. So Ziggy, please, please send out the bullshit lies again you're lying not only that then she tries to come back with it you guys and she's like what about a few months ago like when i told you and you told jay for justice blah 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 and she actually asks me i'm going to show you guys text messages she actually asked me why are you so focused on this lie it's so little what thank you in my opinion no i just i can't i am so sick of this you guys and then she's like you're just using me for content and her little minions come over you're just using ziggy for content i have done fairly well without mentioning ziggy all by my bad self i do not need to mention ziggy for content whatsoever so that's a, a go-to for people to say but whatever now here we go we're gonna play this out you know yeah I kind of act like an idiot, but, you know, to each his own. Actually, she uh, spent the night and evening calling me a liar and actually saying, like, she knew that this could be possibly a hoax and a lie. Yeah, we're going to need sound. It should, there should be sound. There's not. I thought I could hear something. Well, we'll try again. We'll see. Oh, that's Before not my tell right. a lie about Sheriff Ron Where the fuck am I? Give me a minute, guys. Okay, let me see here. Well, oh, exactly, yeah. Name on them? So I'm just questioning because I don't think Ronnie... Beans. I don't... Oh, that's because I need headphones. Okay, hold on. That's because I need the headphones on to hear it. Duh. Okay. Okay, so he goes out for a smoke. He has no idea that I'm doing this call at this moment. He knows it's planned for today, but not yet. But I wanted to make sure to connect with uh, the sheriff. So here we go. Here is Sheriff making up lies, apparently. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Here we go. See, I'm all flustered. I think that Ronnie Lawson would tell her to do that, so... That's why I'm calling you. We're going to rewind a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Two of them. Three of them. <laughs> Can't get enough fairy. Ziggy, listen up, <laughs> sweetheart. You missed everything on YouTube this weekend. Uh-oh. Thank you, Yanni. Oh. Good to see you. Thank you for that. Did you get uh, that one? I did. I said thank you. Beautiful. This will take a minute, but you'll hear like in the background. I, feel I want like you, you guys can see to see the little Tim Hortons coffee beans thing in the back. I want you to get just to get the full effect, the full call here. And again, I'm going to open this up for Ziggy. Should she have anything to say to herself? But we have to go through. Uh, the text messages because everyone thinks it's just this one little lie and it was Michelle that lied. Ziggy's just guilty of allowing her up on the panel. Not true. Ziggy, wasn't she butthurt? It was almost like Ziggy was Michelle. Like you read through all of our text messages of it. How it did you take it? It was pretty intense. It was weird. Wasn't it weird? Like what the heck? It just made no sense. I honestly thought she was under the influence because it just made no sense all that glitters thank you so much appreciate you don't let the haters get you down kiss N no i'm excited for tonight because i can't stand liars and the fact that she wants to say she's using me for money she's using me for clout you notice the time that she waited to do this she claims she's been talking with michelle since november so why this shit didn't come out in november don't know why'd she wait for the 11 hour the 11 month mark on the dot you tell me what that seems like to you gang gang anyone <laughs> how long ago did i make that call oh and guys please be careful with blocking only block assholes in fact i'd rather you time them out so that i can see they were timed out and then if i when i see that i will see if they have to 
be blocked or not because when my mods block people I have a hell of a time getting them unblocked in down the line if I want to unblock them or if it's even an accident because I know a lot of you are on your phones that's why I do slow mode no you guys are not blocked if you can't chat right away it's because I do have it on I think for 70 seconds so you gotta wait 70 seconds between which I do that for um, it's very helpful for my mods to slow it down so that there is less accidents on that finger Coffee intro. No, he did not say it sarcastically, you guys. Tell me why she he would tell her to go and say this on YouTube, but then at the same time put YouTube down. He did not say this sarcastically. I will believe that when I see that, and the only re the only way I'll believe that if I see that is if I smack have Ronnie Lawson's phone number in my face so that I can prove that it's Ronnie or not Ronnie. Unfortunately, this is how the YouTube streets have created it. It doesn't matter if it's a text message or not. I don't have proof that came from Ronnie unless there's a number I can call and say, is this Ronnie? Yeah, this is Ronnie. Okay, then I can believe it. That's where we're at, folks. That's how you properly vet as well. You ready, Ziggy? Get ready, honey. Hey, Auburn. Auburn, FL Tiger. Hey, Killer. I think my size. Went, uh... That's exactly it, Hummingbird, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of people making up bullshit and spreading lies. If Ziggy is willing to tell such little lies, how do we know the bigger shit aren't lies? The CPS thing now, I'm questioning altogether, which I always did. I never supported that shit being out, no matter if it's true or not true. But I'm 100% questioning it now. And yeah, we called that lady. She answered and just breathed in the phone. She wouldn't say anything. So since she didn't want to have a conversation, you bet your ass she is being reported all around. It started today. So if this is actually a CPS worker, she can actually face prison time for what she's done in leaking things to Ziggy. Congratulations, Ziggy. You're putting people's careers on the line now. Uh, for a run. Ziggy's nothing but a liar, and that's too bad. I gave her the benefit of the doubt. Oh, sure. Is actually talking with law Here we go. I'll about. shut up now. What's going to be going down? Okay, Yanni, thank you so much. I do remember the bones. We'll get to that. I don't remember the bones. She's putting Ronnie well, exactly, yeah. name on them. So I'm just questioning because I don't think Ronnie, beans. I don't think that Ronnie Lawson would tell her to do that. So that's why I'm calling you I this morning to don't see. Think so either, but I'll just it, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Hawkins County Sheriff's Office, who are saying Ronnie Lawson did not ask Michelle to do that, and they're all very confused why Michelle did that. On the phone, Ziggy. <laughs> Five lives, by the way. Sheriff's Office. They're all saying, mm, no. Coming for you, Ziggy. Put it all while chasing my cat down. Mm-hmm. Sheriff's fired up. Yeah. Hey, true crime and other stuff. And she's dancing to the hold music. Ziggy. Call me a liar, bitch. <laughs> it's going to go down. <laughs> it's about to go down. YouTube in a long time. Hey, Darzilla. It's a long four minutes and seven seconds, guys, because I mean, I'm on hold right now. And it went to one, two, either two different girls and one came back two times, or it was three different girls. I don't think it was three. I think I got sent back to the original first girl on the call when she was like, just talk to Ronnie, but you'll hear it all. Thank you, Yoni. <gasps> Thank you, Yanni. So Mr. Lawson said, he, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? They made a media statement. They already made a media statement? He did, he did not ask her to post anything. 
fine. So Sheriff Ronnie Lawson just told you he did not ask Michelle to post or say anything on YouTube? Right. Thank you so much for your time, and please thank Mr. You're Sheriff welcome. Ronnie Lawson for me as well. Have a good day, ma'am. Okay. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. Now, a lot of people are confused with there was an article released today with nothing new. Ronnie Lawson didn't make a statement. Correct. But what they're talking about is the past statements Ronnie Lawson has made. He has already made a statement. No, he did not tell Michelle to go and make that statement on behalf of him. Now, Ronnie Lawson was right there. Was it Ronnie Lawson on the phone giving me that statement? No. They knew that I was making the statement for YouTube. But like she said, she she put me on hold and she just said, I spoke with Ronnie Lawson and he said no. Reason why? Because Ronnie Lawson will not be caught on anybody's YouTube channel. That's why he didn't get on the phone and say it himself. Mm -hmm. So Ziggy, Michelle, please do now. You will look like a dumbass if you release these retarded text messages of Ronnie Lawson. Because Ronnie knew it was me on the phone calling for the statement and he gave that statement for me for my channel today. In fact, just so there's no mistake in it, let's rewind. Sorry for all who think that this might be boring. Just give it another four minutes and seven seconds because I'm, I'm gonna show it one more time to uh, double down. And you got three prairies right now. So I mean, what could be better? Yeah, exactly, three prairie boys. <laughs> And then we're going to get into some more nitty gritty how last night it was proven to me not only does she allow this, this is helping spread misinformation. She knew it was a lie. And when I go to her privately and say, Michelle's lying, Ziggy, and you don't do anything about it, but attack me and call me a liar and say that I'm starting conspiracy theorists and how could I dig so bad into this? What am I doing? I'm so terrible for calling and checking up on this. Why am I so hung up on this lie and not other lies? Ziggy, what the freak? It's because at the 11 month mark of Summerwell still missing, you are helping in the misinformation. You are helping in the lies and you know it. That's why. No mistake that you chose the 11 month mark to do this shit. No mistake. And for the people who think I'm wrong for pointing out lies, whether they're little or small, it doesn't fucking matter. And the people saying they're unsubbing me because how could I do this to Ziggy? Bye. I don't want subscribers like that. I am fine losing every subscriber I have because I'm doing what I know and feel right in my heart. Next month is a one year mark and you bet your ass that I am going to be uh, very, very, very protective of what is going on in Summer's name. One little lie should not be okay. One little lie leads to bigger lies. It leads to bigger misinformation being spread. And aren't you all sick of that? I am, I'm yelling. I am sick of it, beyond sick of it. And people actually tried to warn her even last night and try to stop it. But she was blocking people. She was not having it. She wanted that lie because she wanted the clout. She wanted the views. She thought it was big. And it's not. Wait till you see these damn text messages. It's even more lies. Again, trying to convince me that TBI handed over the case? No, 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 no. And if you're trying to convince me, who else is she trying to convince that's going to believe half this shit? The bones that very clearly were deer bones. If she's country, like a lot of people, I'm country, I'm country. You should know the difference between human bones and deer bones. I would have known, but my whole family, it, my kids are all hunters. You know what I'm saying? You know, I guess you can look at it as being safe than sorry. Maybe she really just doesn't know the difference. I don't know. But again, I don't know. There's a lot of shit Mark and I could say that is not on YouTube. We don't jump to put everything on YouTube first. I said there's a lot of shit that will be shown when we have proper justice. Remember that? Not everything has to go on YouTube right away. In fact, I think I'm one of the only people who have spoken to Don for 10 months straight damn near and haven't recorded every fucking call or video call. Mm, yeah. Most of them you didn't. I, yeah, 99% of my communications with Don was not recorded. Now, 
If I cared about the views, the clout, the money, I would have recorded it all and I would have been playing, 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 playing over again, dissect, dissect, dissect like every fucking buddy else. I'm one of the only people who is not streaming seven, eight hours a day nonstop, picking apart the same shit we've been picking apart a million fucking times, right? I replay interviews, but that's important. Even when people look at cold cases in the back, they replay interviews, right? But I'm not re like picking every little thing to dissect. And tonight, yeah, I've had it with the little lies, the big lies, all of it. And the fact that Ziggy waited for the 11th mark, the 11th month mark of her being missing and pulling this shit spoke loud and clear to me about what kind of creator she is. <clears throat> You missed everything on YouTube this weekend. Uh oh. <laughs> exactly the joy catcher. Exactly oh. right. She, yeah, she is. Hey, Taco Tuesday. Good to see you. I know you can see the little Tim Hortons coffee beans thing in the back. <laughs> How long ago did I make right, that coffee intro? Here. Clickbait, 100%. Italia. Get maple. Hey, nay. Okay, I'll shut up. Now listen. I think my thighs <laughs> went uh, for a run. Oh, sure. is actually talking with law enforcement about what's going to be going down. Right, Gigi. No coincidence. She waited till the 15th. She's putting Ronnie oh, exactly. yeah. name on them. So I'm just questioning because I don't think Ronnie, beans. I don't think that Ronnie Lawson would tell her to do that. So that's why I'm calling you I this morning to don't see. Think so either, but mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Hawkins County Sheriff's Office. Who are oh, and for the people who are like, maybe she was, he was just being sarcastic with Michelle. He was not going to take that phone call at that time until I brought up Michelle's name and what she said about him. Then it was, please hold. <laughs> saying Ronnie Lawson did not ask Michelle to do that, and they're all very confused why Michelle did that. On the phone, Ziggy. Mm -hmm. Live, live, by the way, Sheriff's Office. They're all saying, mm, no. Coming for you, Ziggy. Put it all while chasing my cat down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're Scotties. fired up. Yeah. Any true crime and other stuff. And she's dancing to the hold music. <laughs> Ziggy, call me a liar, bitch. I see someone said that Darzilla had a good question. I went back and I cannot see the question. If you would rewrite it, Darzilla, I will respond to it, hon. It's going to go down. Oh. <gasps> I haven't been YouTube in a long time. No, no, she has never proven anything she said except through text messages. And uh, that's not that's not proof enough because it could be anyone. Like I said, we called the CPS worker today because she fucked up and mistakenly gave me her number, didn't scratch it out on a screenshot. And um, it, it's been traced to, um, I'm not going to say who because I don't know if I should, but she'll probably say it on her channel. It's been traced to a landline in, in Tennessee, but that's where we'll leave it at that. Uh, I do not believe it. One bit. How could I know? How could I believe that now? She's lying. And she's she wants to try and make me look bad. Oh, I can without a doubt make her look bad. Ronnie Lawson was saying he never talked to Cher. That's a lie. It's all happening live. Please do release those text messages because you're going to look dumb as fuck now. Even more so than you already hey, do. Hey, Darzilla. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Jack. So Mr. Lawson said, 
I'm sorry, can you repeat that? They made, they made a media statement. They already made a media statement? He did, he did not ask her to post anything. So Sheriff Ronnie Lawson just told you he did not ask Michelle to post or say anything on YouTube? Thank you so much for your time, and please thank Mr. You're Sheriff welcome. Ronnie Lawson for me as well. Thank Have you, a good Italia. Day, okay. Oh, bye-bye. No problem. I don't need any thanks for this because, I, it, again, I'm doing what's right. If she's willing to lie and spread misinformation on something so fucking little, what else has she lied about? Mm. Probably everything. Probably everything. To go around and then say, she only cares. Cher's only doing this to use me for content. No, bitch. In fact, I didn't want to do this because I know that it's giving you the attention you so badly want. Fuck. <laughs> now, creators, take this. Or any, even if you're not a creator, chop that from 24 minutes and 45 seconds in to 2507, whatever. Take that, share that. I don't strike people. Even if you hate me, share this take it share it i don't care because again that's a little lie now she knew it was a lie yesterday she knew it was a lie and this was on my channel live this morning yep mr so shares live this if you morning want to go to that, live. by all means go to that and use yep, that and live if you want clip it and share it for sure because we want the truth out there Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Let's have to look at that later. So. Yeah, so she was all... Okay, the other thing is that I did leave a post, which a lot of people... I have to remind myself that they don't understand my sarcasm. Hmm. So when she's going around and letting lies happen, I talked to Ronnie. Ronnie told me to share this on Ziggy's channel. Ronnie said to go on Ziggy's and share that. I fucking highly doubt that. So yeah, I made a post while we're out riding bikes and I was like, just talk to Ronnie. Y'all are lying, you know? And so I did delete that because I realized, well, yeah, that does make it sound like I just talked to Ronnie that day. But everyone knows Hawkins County is not open on Saturday and Sundays, right? But Ziggy wanted to take that and say, Cher's lying. She said she talked to Ronnie Lawson on a sat or what day? Sunday. That's not possible. You're right, it's not possible. Well, actually, it is possible if you have his personal contact information like Michelle does, apparently texting him at 1 a.m. and shit and warning him. That's funny. Now, again, please show the text messages of Ronnie claiming he didn't give me any statement to put out there. Is I mean, hello? I, I don't know what more you, you need to show that you're the liar, not me. There is other people you can call after hours, by the way. Ziggy, I mean, I thought you would know these things. I thought you've talked to most of the LE that I've talked to, but uh, in some that I've talked to, no, you've actually never even called or talked to them. So if you actually really were into this case trying to help Summer, I would think that you've talked to the same people I've talked to because I've talked to head people on the case. Like Benny has, Cam has, Mark's talked to a few. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? So where you been at, Ziggy? Or do you only care about the bullshit that can get you some clicks and some views? Punksy, thank you so much. Appreciate that. So, yeah, she is <clears throat> wild, wild, wild. So then she was like, you called my live bullshit. I never said that. I said, I'm laughing at the bullshit and the lies. But to be real, the first thing I saw in that was a clip. I didn't even realize that that all went down on Ziggy's channel. I actually had no idea. Like we were mm. texting till like, oh, like two in the morning. She was oh, so yeah. beside herself. It was unbelievable. Yeah, it was crazy. So crazy. It literally just doesn't even make sense. Now, Ziggy's probably going to go live same time as I am, try to make some excuses, just send the people here to watch the truth, because I am questioning everything now. So we got, uh, uh, we got, we got, 
Mm-mm-mm. Oh, when he comes back, I'm going to call the CPS worker. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to stop this for a minute. Oh, I am going to actually drop the link, Ziggy and Michelle, if you would like to come up. Michelle, why don't you give Ronnie Lawson a call here on panel? I don't know. If you want to prove I'm such a horrible liar, please do. I, I can't wait to see what they do after this, because how are you going to actually say that it wasn't a statement from Ronnie Lawson and his team? It absolutely was. She said, hold on a minute. Hey, I just talked to Ronnie Lawson and he said, blah, blah, blah. He was right there. He just didn't want to be on YouTube himself because the beginning of the call, I said who I am. Ronnie Lawson knows who I am. He knows who most of us are because they have had to watch us in this case, unfortunately. Bah, bah, bah. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, how do I... Do I sign out of here? Oh, right here, I think. No, okay, how do I? Is it here? Yep, okay, hold on. Your profile. Nope, I don't want that. Oh, here we go, right here, log out. And then I can log in. I think it's that. I think, I think, bum, bum, bum. I'll try it. No, that's not right. Oh, that's why, okay. Bum, bum, bum. I'm pulling up our uh, text messages. I think, I don't know, what is my password? Timmy, hey yo! Hello, hello! Okay, well, that's not working. Okay. I had to block her because she's just so fucking crazy. Okay. And then she made community posts like, I wasn't talking shit about you last night. I actually like you. No, you do not, you liar. Okay, so that's not it. April eleventh. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that was a while ago. Yeah, when she found out, she fucked up and gave me that uh, CPS worker number. She was like, "Um, I'm in mistake. Please don't talk to her." <laughs> All right, uh, she's so much, I can't even, okay, so Sunday. Yeah, and the way she, like, she's a liar even just reading these texts. Uh, she's like, oh, Michelle called you a liar? I'm like, no, she's a liar, like, what the fuck? And you guys called me a liar, like, she's just, and she's like, you lied on your post. No, no, I didn't, honey. I just didn't tell you. I don't have to tell you who I talked to, when, or how, because I don't need to tell Ziggy that. So I actually did not. Die. Well, did I talk to him last night personally? No, not him personally, but I knew that the wheels were in motion to have the conversation today. But that's not Ziggy's uh, business to know every single move I make, right? That's not her business. Also, uh, what I said to Mark was, if she's gonna go and lie and say that Ronnie told her to put that shit on YouTube, I'm gonna say I talked to Ronnie right now. Okay, here we go, 1221, nope. And then she's like, I'm talking to Michelle, cause I was like trying to call her and she was like, I'm talking to Michelle. Oh my God, Michelle talks so long. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I am fired up. Why lie about something so fucking little that she knew could be figured out? Like she, she knew she would get caught in this, right? It is ridiculous. And she's like, you call my lie bullshit. No, I didn't. I didn't even know it was her live at first. 
Sorry, I'm trying to go back to just Sunday, not all of the time before. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sunday, 10 to 10. She said, hey, are you around? I said yes and no. She goes, oh, are you live? I forgot to check, lol. I said, no, I'm on a date night in the cold in the truck, not live right now. And then I said, can you show me that picture, that pic that Michelle claims is her? Now, reason why is because I saw the clips. Now, I didn't realize that if you go watch the live, Michelle shows her face for a second. So I had seen the clips. I had heard Michelle, but I had not seen Michelle. So I did. I said, can you show me that pic that Michelle claims is her? What did she say? Uh, there's a couple of voice messages. She was all butthurt because when she thought that I talked to Ronnie last night, right? She was trying to catch me in a lie. Like, you don't talk to Ronnie. You don't talk to Ronnie. And then I'm like, just show me. I won't show it. She was like, no, you know, I don't want to dox her, whatever. Um, Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Okay. Give me one second. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, hold on. Oh, and I'm exaggerating. That's right. I'm an exaggerating person. I am a conspiracy theorist because I'm calling her a liar. I'm calling her out on her lies and she's saying I'm a conspiracy theorist. And then what's really weird is out of the blue, she was like, it's like you're trying to say that I'm part of a conspiracy or something literally never came out of my mouth it was very weird that she said that so it actually got me wondering right like what the fuck what does that even mean are you like i don't know <laughs> how did you schedule to talk to him what do you mean how do you schedule you call you say when he comes in tomorrow can i leave a message can you have ronnie lawson call me because it's important you know what i'm saying but for some reason, Ziggy couldn't comprehend how you can leave messages with people to let them know that you have something important that's being told on YouTube and using his name and that you would like to speak to him on Monday when he's in the office. She could not fathom that idea, which is weird. muted okay so again i said can you show me that picture that michelle claims is her now this is funny you're gonna see as this goes on something else that pops up that really confused me i asked can i see the picture that michelle claims is her i that's all i left it at it does go on to where she claimed she had to go live last night because some people were saying that the michelle she had on her panel is not the Michelle that worked with Ronnie Lawson. Now, she also said, I'm not lying. She is who she says she is. I wasn't questioning that. I didn't care. Like, I knew, okay, so what if that's Michelle? It doesn't mean she's not lying. I wasn't questioning, was that the Michelle that worked with Lawson? That was not my question at all. But she somehow brings that up that, they are the same person, blah, 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 which again was a red flag to me because I never mentioned that it was two different people. So then she quickly recovers that by saying, oh yeah, other people were saying that it's two different Michelles, that it looks like two different people. I didn't even see Michelle to begin with to even know if it was two different people or not, to even have that thought, you know? So can you show me that picture of Michelle claims that that's her? Um, I told her I would not put that out. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you this. This is good. I've had, even without putting it out, any, I've had um, people f find it, a picture online. Yes, yeah, but she claimed she was never talking about me badly and that she was only saying good things. I've got that email of bullshit too. 
No, she knew what was going to happen today and she tried to cover her ass. It was so weird. Like, she's so upset that I said Michelle lied on her panel. It had nothing to even do with Ziggy at that point, but Ziggy made it so personal. It made me start questioning her and looking into everything she said. Like, whoa, Michelle lied. Okay, Michelle lied. Why is Ziggy so pissed that I'm saying she lied? Um, and an article about that. So um, it's already online. So if you Google it, I'm sure you can find it easily. Oh, there you I go. don't know what they're searching. She's telling me if I Google her, I will find her, right? Which is interesting as we go on. Because you will see, I Googled her. I came up with the picture and said, never mind. I don't need it. I just saw her. And then she goes, you're a liar. You can't just Google her and she's on there. She's not even on there. So now I know you're lying. First of all, you just told me that I could find her on Google. So again, you thought you were lying to me. Again, why? Why would you lie about that? You know what I'm saying? Plus, I said, I promise I won't show it. I just want to put a face with who's saying this. I want to see her because I didn't see her at that time, right? So, yeah, this is great. I'm going to start from the beginning. Probably 20. Hold on. Listen. Um, I told her I would not put that out, mm -hmm. but I will tell you this. I've had, even without putting it out, any. I've had um, people f find it, a picture online, um, and an article about that. So um, it's already online, so if you Google it, I'm sure you can find it easily. Oh, she said she'd unprivate her life if I said to. Oh, unprivate that shit, Ziggy, because it's going to make you look even more dumb. Please unprivate that live if you're just waiting on me to be okay with it unprivate it i don't give two shits what you think you can show on me or whatever i don't care the conversations i have with people to their face is the same conversations i have to their back if someone if i don't like someone they know i don't like them i do not you show me the live streams where people can actually drag me share set this behind so and so's neck oh you can't do it because i say it all how i feel i say a lot of other creators should probably act like that they would be recorded a whole lot less there'd be a lot less shit out about them because all the people can do is go on and call me a liar call me a crackhead call me a bad mom right this is what they can say about me what else do they got because the conversations that I have behind people's back is the same conversations I have to their fucking face. You should try it sometime, Ziggy. I don't know what they're searching. Probably 27 years. And hello, everyone. Search 27 years, Michelle in Hawkins County Sheriff's Department. And I'm sure it comes right up. Oh. Um, I told her I wouldn't share it. She, she's the one that put her name out. And that's why I was messaging you because I saw your community post. And I'm like... Should I be taking this like some kind of way? Um, is this something like against me? See, here's the thing. I was talking about Michelle, not Ziggy at that time. Michelle. I was saying Michelle lied. Michelle. Why is Ziggy taking it some kind of way? Um, she knew it was a lie. Or, but she sent me several other pictures too. That wasn't the only one. She sent me even ones that were like personal pictures of her at the jail where she worked at. She worked at the, she was a jailer and I've also been talking to her since November. So I don't understand. November. Why did you wait until uh, the 15th of May? Why did you wait until the 11th month mark? Hmm. I know why. And um, also, I wanted to know, like, what you mean by um, share, loss and lying to you. So what I said is that either Michelle is lying or Lawson is lying. Because what I did say, I did say that I talked to Lawson last night. That, to me, is funny. Because she's going around telling people that Lawson told her to go on to Ziggy's panel and say this, right? So that's funny. That's a sarcastic thing for me. Maybe distasteful, but I thought it was funny. I still think that's funny. Because look how it played out. Still, exactly what I told her was going to happen 
happened today. So who is the liar? I mean, it's obvious, though. Like, if you think about it, it makes sense. Like, with TBI saying that she was last seen early afternoon, it's not... It doesn't matter if a lie, you can make a lie make sense. Obviously, you can do that or you wouldn't lie, right? Of course you have to make the lie make sense so people believe it. So, Ziggy, that's really fucked up of you to even say. So it doesn't matter. Well, it does, you know, well, it's a lie, but it adds up and it makes sense. That doesn't matter. A lie is still a lie. It doesn't matter if it adds up. You ha a lie, you're not going to go tell a lie that doesn't match the story, right? Or everyone's going to know it's a lie. So, yeah, it adds up. Because it's a lie that you made add up. What are you confused about, Wildfire? Woke up, Mark. LOL. <laughs> wake up, Mark. Yeah. I'm weak. What are you confused about, Wildfire? Why she would lie about something so fucking little? <sighs> Ask her. I don't know. But I definitely question everything that she has said now. Little or big. Um, I told her I would not oh, God, put it's that so out. Vegan. But I will be taking this, like, some kind of way. Um, is this Why? Is like, against me? Um, or... Sam, I am. <laughs> but she sent me several other pictures, too. That wasn't the only one. We don't She care. sent me even ones that were, like, personal pictures of her at care. the jail where she worked at. It was never a question, did she work at the jail? That was never a question. What comes out of his mouth or out of her mouth was the problem. BK pays everyone. How much BK and Z pay her? Um, BK does not make enough to be payroll for people. Christy, I will end up blocking you if that's the shit you want to say. I want you to be like a part of the conversation, but you, you honestly sound stupid saying that. Like, honestly, you, you sound dumb as shit saying something like that. It's not BK who pays people. Everyone loves to blame BK for all this shit, and it's not. Just like over this whole situation. Just because BK was on the panel, well, how come you're not mad at him, too? He didn't say the lies. He was like, oh, oh, really? And actually, if you listen to it, I, I pretty much think that he was like, yeah, this is fucking lies. Like, I think he was just trying to be polite to the host. You know, because if he didn't and he would have flipped off, everyone would have been calling him an asshole then too. Literally in that situation, there's no winning for Benny. But Ziggy knew it was lies. She knew it was lies all along, but it was okay with her. And that is a problem. Do you know what happened to Ernie and his leaving for undisclosed location tomorrow? No idea, nor do I even care. <laughs> you know, um, I'm looking for, I've been watching, what was that? If she lies about little things, she'll lie about big things. Exactly. That's what really got me yesterday. Like, what the heck? Worked at the, she was a jailer. And I don't care. I've also been talking to her since November. So I don't understand. Um, also, I wanted to know, like, what you mean by um, sure, loss and lying to you. She's worried. I mean, it's obvious, though. Like, if you think about it, it makes sense. Like, with... TBI saying that she was last seen early afternoon. It's not really like shocking info. And it's not, but you made it I shocking mean, and, for and, clickbait. And also, when you talk to Lawson, or you, it seems like you say you have because you said he was long, either Lawson's lying or Michelle's lying. Yeah. But how do you know Lawson's It stands lying today. Or... It stands today. Is Lawson lying or Michelle? We heard from Lawson. We heard Lawson's statement for today. So who's lying? Lawson and the two co-workers he had on the phone today with him? Or Michelle and Ziggy? Again, I repeat, did Lawson give me that statement in his own voice? No. But Lawson was right there. And when he heard what was going on, he went from not wanting to take the call to, hold on a minute, told her what to say, and you heard the lady. I just spoke with Sheriff Ronnie Lawson and he told me to say no. He did not tell her to go and say that and make that statement for him. No, he did not say that. So I repeat, Ziggy, is Lawson lying 
Or is Michelle and you lying? Not even talking to him until tomorrow morning. Doesn't matter. I already That's knew what I'm the... It about. was that fucking clear to me that it was lies. I already knew what was going to come out of Sheriff Ronnie Lawson's mouth. And you know why? Because, again, you can call TBI. You can call other people that have, like, after hours, even though Lawson's not there and Hawkins County Sheriff's Department is closed Saturdays and Sundays. Correct. Everybody and their moms knows that. Are you going to tell me there's not other people that you can talk to? Not other people that would say, hmm, nope, I don't believe Ronnie Lawson would say something like that, but we'll get to it tomorrow. Come on, Ziggy. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, how do you know Michelle or Lawson? To me, she sounds worried that she's about to get caught. You know what I mean? She didn't think anyone would call Lawson. Like, if Lawson could go on social media or go on social media and ask, he would have done it himself. You know what I mean? No. He's not likely. And actually, she even says that on her live. I don't know how we'll even know because it's not likely that Lawson's going to get on YouTube. You can you can tell as it goes on, she's terrified. She didn't think, oh, Cher's going to call Sheriff Ronnie Lawson. She's not. No one's going to call Lawson, right? We're just going to take this and run with it because Lawson's never going to go on YouTube and defend that it's a lie. That's what she was counting on. Sheriff Ronnie Lawson's not going to come on YouTube and be like, oh, that's a lie. Michelle's lying. So she thought she could get away with it. She honestly was not thinking straight last night. I swear she was drunk because it's not that fucking difficult to think, oh, maybe Cher's going to call him and try and get to the bottom of this lie. You pretty much don't know me very well at all if you didn't think I was going to be one of the first people to pick up the phone and get to the bottom of this going to be honest about it i wouldn't think but i mean if he is that'd be awesome um right she's 100 right five million percent who she says she is and i've been talking to her since november and she even does it um, matter want tried to meet up with me last time i was in that doesn't uh, matter Tennessee. so and she did tell me since the beginning that she worked at the sheriff's office doesn't um, matter she's always gone by michelle doesn't matter um, her name you'll when you find it and look it up you'll see again you'll tell me to recognize look it, up. it from groups facebook groups and everything i don't you'll facebook guys name. she used to go by for her full name um and she changed it so you'll know like and unless she's been lying since like several months ago about her name she's five million percent i never said do you notice I never questioned, is Michelle really Michelle? Is her name Michelle? Like, I never, ever questioned that whatsoever. I questioned the words that were coming out of Michelle's mouth. But she's, like, bringing up, oh, Michelle is really Michelle. I have pictures of her at the sheriff's department. I have, like, I know that her name is Michelle. That's not the problem, Ziggy. And her name is the same name that's in that article. Um, and in that picture, on she that was plaque. lips. She was questioning it, and that, and I, even on her live, she was questioning it, and even saying it could be lies, it could be a hoax. I don't know how we can prove it unless Lawson himself comes up here, which she knew would never happen. So she thought she could get away with it, is what she thought, and she felt extra secure because Benny was up on the panel with her. Mm. So n- no, would doubt it if like for one you know i couldn't be a thousand percent like or a million percent sure unless i mean if what she's saying unless i saw proof and you know her i I never asked her for something like that before and she was like way more than willing to to give it so and then i I, then i would have questioned if she just sent that picture because that one's on the internet. Right, she Darzilla. She that picture and... Right, and she goes on and on to defend that Michelle is who she says she is. That was never a question. So now that makes me wonder, is that the same Michelle? Could be, but I did not question that until after she made everything to be about Michelle is Michelle. That's Michelle. I know that's Michelle. That was never, ever, ever, ever the issue. You know what I'm saying? So again, 
that is red flags to me. And if it's not red flags to other people, that's okay. But to me, I'm questioning why is she so, like, hung up on Michelle is Michelle. That is who she says she is when that was never the question. So it does make me wonder. I'd be I'd be silly after all this to not wonder that, you know. And hello, everyone coming in. That's okay. Uh, love in the laundry. Seriously, aluminum brains. Alex Erickson. Um, good to see you. I'm way behind, but you crack me up sticking your tongue out and furry boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Hate that girl. I thought maybe he said it being smart ass. Like if YouTubers are so smart, have them. Right. But no, he, he didn't. Why would he say that when that's not new? We all know there's three or four hours missing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not new. And she's like, yeah, I don't know why I'm so bad on a shape. That's not new. You tried to fucking play it off like it was new. And she privated it so we couldn't go back and show it is why she privated it. Because she did. She was like, oh, oh my God. What? Four hours. Oh, Michelle, what? Oh, my God, what? She was acting like that was all brand new, right? So, fuck that feel so bad for her because i just feel like this I is going to cause for liar. issues for her but i mean i guess she did put her name out herself and come on my panel i didn't know she was going to come up there and say that she told me Bullshit. she had a question from benny she's never freaking she never chats in the chat anymore like she used to but ever since she started seeing that people were being docs and stuff like she's been really like sketchy i think that's why she Let came up on the panel so let me hop on Ziggy's panel on the 15th, you know, the 11 month mark. Let me hop up because I'm so afraid of being doxxed and picked on and harassed. But let me hop on Ziggy's panel at the, the 11 month mark of Summer Wells being missing. And let me be Ronnie Lawson's voice. Let me give a statement and say Ronnie Lawson told me to do this here. And she buckled down on it. Here you go, Ziggy. Here it is, Ziggy. From Ronnie Lawson, Ziggy. I asked her, like, you know, hey, what's your question for Benny? She's like, oh, I just want to tell you guys how much I love your channels. I could tell, like, now after she exactly hummingbird oh went yeah went ahead and said what she said ziggy does she was like try, trying to think should she say this should she not say this you know she's very private person oh she's super she did not so private. she did not um she asked me please to not like share her phone number to not share those pictures I mean, I didn't even ask her if I could, you know, share the redacted part or, you know, where I covered it up. Um, but I showed that today. Because she knew she was fucking um, lying. Because I thought, you well, knew it was she just was lying too. However, it, when I did that, I did not. Listen, like someone said in chat, 90% of the people knew it was lies hearing it. I knew it was lies hearing it. I didn't even have to hear from Ronnie Lawson right away. I knew it was lies. I knew Ronnie Lawson did not say that. It's common sense. You can't tell me that she heard that and didn't think nothing of it. She knew it was lies and she fucking let it go. That is helping spread the misinformation on purpose. That is not acceptable in this case. It's not acceptable in any case. And you bet your ass I'm going to be right the fuck on top of you, breathing down your neck now because this isn't going to fucking fly. We all consider Summer our little sister, our daughter, our niece, our what she means something to all of us that are here and has for the past 11 months. Ziggy, you've lost it for me. You've lost my support. You've lost me having your back. And you've lost me believing that you actually give a shit about Summer. I don't. When you can actually do that. You knew it was lies and you still continued it. You still did it because you wanted those clicks. You wanted those views at the 15 or the 11 month mark. I keep saying 15 months. The 11 month mark. No, you don't have to pretend to be her friend to get info, Glitter Queen. Because she doesn't have info. She doesn't have the info. She lies. She, she is such a liar. Wait till I keep going on because she actually tries to convince me of lies. And that's where I'm like, if you're trying to convince me of lies when I know it's fucking lies, who buys her shit? You know people believe this shit. 
We are not in fucking high school. We are adults. This is the bullshit. Exactly why Ronnie Lawson will not get on YouTube. Exactly why YouTubes and us creators who are actually trying to help and do things are not being taken seriously. Because of this bullshit right here. That Ziggy cannot be taken as a credible channel anymore. Fuck that. No, that same picture with Lawson and her Don't is care. on the internet. Doesn't and matter. And easily searchable. Doesn't and matter. And so it could be an easy compare. Again, listen to how she keeps telling me that I can find her online. You can Google her. You can find her just for her to go down. And when I say I found her on Google, you're a liar, sir. She's not on Google. You lie. What the fuck? But, however, <gasps> that's why I'm saying just search. Um... Just so there's nothing that's tracing me back to oh, it's tracing you back giving to out it. the picture, but yet you can still see it. Search uh, Michelle, uh, 27 years, Hawkins County, you know, something like that. I haven't tried looking it up, but I've had like a few people email it to me. Oh. Um, so now let's stop there for a minute. She just said the last voice clip that Michelle herself sent her all these pictures. Michelle sent me all of them. She kept sending me these pictures. Now she's saying she didn't send me any. Like I had to have people email them to me. What the fuck? Again, more lies, Ziggy. Trust me, by the time I'm done with Ziggy, I'll be shocked at the people following her because if you cannot tell that she is not a credible source in the Summer Wells case, I don't know what else to tell you. And the people who keep leaving me stupid comments, I'm unsubbing you, Cher. You're a bully. Unsub, bye. I don't fucking need subscribers like you. I will repeat. Benny has a saying that he will turn on his best friend to save a child. I will gladly lose every single fucking subscriber I have. I'm going to turn my subscriber count off because I don't care about my, I care about my subscribers. This is going to sound wrong. I hope you guys know what I mean. I will lose every fucking subscriber I have before I allow people to on purpose spread misinformation and not say something about it. Okay. I'd much rather be reporting to you something new something useful, something that will help us with summer because this ain't it. I know it. This is not useful or helpful or going to bring summer home. But the live sure as shit ain't going to help with that. So I cannot let this go unnoticed. And anyone that knows me knows that this is what I do. I will not. I refuse to know that this is happening and not fucking say something on it. Ziggy is not a credible channel for the Summer Wells case. She knowingly puts out lies. Lies that are so fucking stupid and little. How can you believe anything? And let me tell you, the CPS is a lie too. And now I know it is. And we, Ziggy fucked up, like I said. And I've got that number. We're going to get to the bottom of that too. That can of worms is now being opened. Ziggy, Ziggy. You fucked up by putting me on your dance card, girl. You fucked up big time by calling me a liar. I mean, I can, I don't know. I mean, I could send you the cover. I just don't, I, and the thing is, she's gonna, I mean, I feel so bad. Uh, but uh, like, uh, uh, I don't feel like it's my fault though. You don't feel bad for Summer. You don't feel bad that you're helping in misinformation. You don't feel bad that you're helping spread lies that is going to go around and around and around like it hasn't been enough for the last 11 fucking months and she's still gone, Ziggy. You don't care about that, but you care about sending me a picture of the liar? Get fucking real. But, you know, you know, and I'm, I can't be like mad at you for it or anything because I know how people are when this type of stuff comes out they're gonna want to try to like you know you know investigate yeah, stuff. You, know, you, you know what i would investigate is the other stuff that was what investigation say. and who you know like i mean that's like this four hours is really not that shocking we know that we know that but it was shocking to you on the panel when Michelle was saying that. Remember? Do you remember this? <gasps> what? Huh? <gasps> Four hours? Oh my god. Wait, what? Should you say that again? Four hours? Oh my god. So you're telling me they waited four hours? Oh my god. 
Get real, Ziggy. It was a big shock to you. It wasn't a shock to us. First thing that Mr. Cher said was, that's not new. I mean, I think we... It's kind of like I agree with uh, Chasing Truth that was on... Don't you um, dare bring her up because today. that's crazy. She probably doesn't About, want you to bring up her name right now. I feel like he did that... I feel like this is kind of like what he did like, with... Like, kind of like... Uh, the, like. When he went on the news and said they're not cooperating. It's not the same. I no, like he, no. Don't you dare try to use that. Because, again, if Ronnie Lawson wanted to make some kind of statement like that, he would have went on WJHL and made that statement, Ziggy. See, what you're trying to do is dance around the lies, which shows me and showed me you knew it was fucking lies. So, and But you knew that Ronnie Lawson would never come on social media and defend that and say that as a lie. You knew that. Well, here I am for Ronnie Lawson saying you're a liar. And then, you know, next thing you know, they're out talking. You got Grandis for the first time talking. It's like a trick that law enforcement does to get the suspects talking no, and trying to no, get them. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Don't even lies, try that, Ziggy. Or, you know, incriminate nope. themselves. No. Nope. So I feel like this was done in hopes that it would be put out. No. Nope. In that. Stop you know, trying Candace to would come on make and try excuses to, for the lies. You know, she is really working hard. Her to, arms are tired. The stretch is real. You know, she's been hidden, you know, somewhere. Supposedly law enforcement knows where she is. But I felt like this is done to get her out talking. But, I, I mean, you know, it's... I don't feel like talking to Lawson is going to help anything. Oh, it helped. Because... Yeah. She didn't want me to talk to Lawson because she knew she'd be busted on her fucking lives. How are you going to tell me I don't think talking to Lawson will be helpful? Oh, it's helpful. Give me a thumbs up in the chat if I helped you all today by conversating with Lawson. Thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thumbs down if you think it's not helpful. Oh, wait a minute. Let's show Ziggy how helpful we thought it was that I... Called Lawson. Hope you're watching, Ziggy, which I know you are. Let's just see how helpful people think it is that I did that. Oh, wow. Looks like a couple people think it's helpful. Even if one person gave me the thumbs up, that's all I needed. So check it out there, Ziggy. It's pretty helpful because you know why it's helpful? Now I can show everyone what a liar you are. Now I can show everyone that you are not a credible channel for Summer Wells' case. You should not watch her who is okay with lying. Big, little, we don't know. But guess what? We are now digging into the CPS thing because I guarantee you, unfortunately, I did back her for that, but I'm now thinking it was lies. But we will find out because best believe we got the information and it's going to happen. Look at all of these people, Ziggy. Wow. Look at that. It seems like a lot of people thought it was helpful to know that uh, which channel is credible or not credible. Do you really, I mean, think about it. Do you really think he's going to admit to it? Like if you were Lawson, would you admit to that? If I, I was mean, Lawson, you know I wouldn't have told some person. That retired in 2016 to go on YouTube and be my voice for me. I certainly don't think that Lawson did that. So, yeah, I believe that Lawson didn't do that. I believe exactly the statement that Lawson gave me today, which was no. I believe that, yes, over you and Michelle. All day, every day, I believe that. Because if he does, or I don't care whether or not he knows or not, okay? I don't care about him. that. What I'm saying is, <laughs> if he does know it's a YouTube channel, he's definitely not going to admit anything. I mean, they're allowed to lie, you know? And I, like I said, like, if, if he was wanting to, um, if he... Lawson can call up whoever he wants and give a statement by himself if he wanted that out there. Don't you think? Actually... Don't you think that we all, as a community, would have been a lot happier hearing that from Lawson than some fucking Michelle girl who 
retired in 2016. We are now in 2022 and a half. And now she's coming out. Like, I think we all would have rather hear it from Lawson. Just saying. Able to say something like that himself, he would have just done it himself. So I just don't see him. Whoa, what? To anybody. She just said it. Why didn't he come out and say it himself? So she knew that this was bullshit. Thank you, T.O. girl. T.O. girl, thank you for the super sticker. Um, and then there's a text that says, Hawkins County Department, 27 years, Michelle. That's what she wanted me to Google to find her on Google before she tells me I'm, when I do Google her, she told me I'm a liar. Here's another waste memo. So those are the, I just went and searched it to see if it would come up because I, and that's exactly what I typed in oh. um, on Google. So. Okay. So she's been talking to this Michelle girl since November, right? She first started saying, Michelle sent me all these pictures. She sent me them all. I have all these pictures. Her at the uh, sheriff's office, blah, blah, blah. She kept sending them to me. Then the very next clip was, she didn't even send me any pictures. Other people had to send them to me. To now, oh, I just Googled her to see what comes up. Are you telling me that you talked to this girl since November and last night is the first time you Googled her to see if she, what would come up on her? Get the fuck out of here. That right there should prove you enough that she does not bet shit on her channel at all. That's a problem. Type that in on Google and the very first article that came up about a deputy being honored for 27 years of service. Mind you, she just said the very first article that comes up, I Googled her, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to see down here, she was like, there is no article on Google. That is her. Um, so I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad. I just, I'm just wondering if like, exactly. Little I'm like, should I take know. that some kind of, you know, sort of way, you know what I mean? Like, I know it's not me personally, but you know, it was my panel. Um, and I didn't know she was going to come up and I'm glad she did. And I, I believe her and she has, uh, you know, proved to me who she is. Pfft. Ziggy has seriously hurt many creators, lied, even docs them. Oh yeah, she did. And their loved ones. Yes, it's, it does. Yeah. Thank you, Annette, for that, by the way. Unsubbed. I'm sure Lawson is pissed. And Michelle, if you did this, you're fucked. Now, if Lawson is really a friend of hers, guarantee you he had something to say to her today. Right? So, uh, Michelle, I'd love to see the text messages that you claim you have of Lawson talking shit about me, saying that he never had a conversation with me and never talked to me. I... Double dog dare you to share those because that's just going to be fucking comical at this point. Ziggy, unprivate that live, girl. Because at this point, I think that's fucking funny. This is funny. It's actually not funny. I told her at the end, like, you owe me an apology, you know that. Oh, fuck you. Oh, you make this all about you. I was like, actually, you're right. You don't owe me an apology. You owe Summer an apology. And actually, Ziggy... I think you should make an apology video to Summer. I think you should apologize for lying and allowing disinformation about her. And that is harmful to her case. It 100% is. I just... Um, Heels on the ground, folks! I don't know. I, I, I just... It's going to cause, like... Exactly, I, I, people are probably going to do it anyway. So, I mean, it's not, it's not a big deal with that. But I'm just... Cotton Candy, if you think that somebody needs to be blocked, go ahead. I trust that. I mean, go ahead. If you, I've seen that you've given a couple warnings. So if it's the same person, don't worry about me. You know that you can block who you want because I trust your judgment and you don't just block people. So I've seen you warn whoever. I don't even know who it is, but I've seen the warnings two times now. So you can go ahead and block. Telling you, I don't think that Lawson Thank you, would admit to it either way. I mean, I don't think him not admitting to it is any type of you know, proving her lying, but, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Dude, I, I just was sent a clip of your live, and you're calling it a bullshit live. Like, that is my live. Like, I don't understand why, 
why you're saying that. Again, here she is worried. I didn't even know it was her life. I said I'm laughing at the bullshit. I didn't say Ziggy's life. I, I didn't even know it was Ziggy's life until later. Then I knew it was Ziggy's life. I don't think I actually called out, oh, Ziggy's life is bullshit. I don't believe I did that. No, I didn't do that. She would, I even show me, like, where did I say that? And she couldn't fucking pull it up. I never said it was her, but she was so fucking, like, amped up about it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So she did know. Uh, it, and like, it was bullshit. I mean, I, for now that I know it was Ziggy's life, for sure. Ziggy, your life was bullshit. It was lies. You know it was lies. It was disinformation. You know it was dis disinformation. And you allowed it. You were actually blocking people, too, for telling the truth. You didn't want to have nothing to do with it. I was telling you the truth. And you didn't want to fucking have nothing to do with it. Instead, you wanted to turn around and call me a liar. You were trying to pick out, oh, wait, you talked to who? Oh, TBI? Oh, TBI doesn't have so much case. Oh, you talked to Ronnie Lawson? No, you didn't. It's Sunday. You didn't talk to Ronnie. You were so desperately trying to find something that you could call me a liar on. You were totally ignoring the fact that your life was bullshit. You're a liar. You allow lies, misinformation, you knew it was lies, and absolutely now I can actually say, Ziggy, you are a liar. And just wait till the can of worms is opened up with the CPS employee bullshit too. You got that to look forward to. You got me on your ass now, Ziggy. But I think this is what you wanted, which is kind of a part of me didn't want to do this because I know this is what you wanted because it's going to get you the attention. But you know what? I'm actually okay with that because if you get the subscribers, shame on them, you know? And I mean, that's just sad and pathetic to be quite honest, but, um, you know, I think you need a little love. So if you want this attention from me, you got it, but I don't like to do this because I did try to give you the benefit of the doubt, even though I thought months ago you were a liar and you were fucked up for what you were doing and wrong. And I told you that. And even though I did try to be civil with you, I still stood by what you did with the CPS was wrong. I never wavered on that. It was wrong. And now I'm finding out you probably did the same bullshit that you just did with Michelle with that too. And we are going to find out. And if that's a real CPS worker, they're going to be in big trouble. And if it's you lying and using other phone numbers and pretending to be your own sources, Ziggy, I will do everything to make sure you do not have a platform on YouTube if that is what you are doing because that is wrong and there is no place for you for that kind of behavior, for that kind of creator in a missing girl's case, period. Y'all with me on that? Can we all agree on that? No room for that, is there? No, 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 no. And let me tell you, it is looking as though you either have people pretend to be your sources and lie for you and with you, or you might even be your own sources. Dr. Phil, get the fuck out of here with that. I'm not even kidding. Don't even try it. Because that actually, if you actually think that this is okay for summer and useful, I really, I really just don't want you in here. So I am going to time you out for that because I really just don't want that comment in here. And it's, it's, it's uh, disturbing. Honestly, if people want to back that, back that. Don't subscribe to me though. I don't want subscribers like that. Absolutely not. It's, it's unacceptable. I, I don't know how people can actually think that's okay. I'm just uh, timing you out so that I can get rid of that comment, Dr. Phil. I'm sorry if I'm harsh on you, but I just, I do not want that comment. I also don't want the cancel Ziggy comments. I want her, if she wants to be a liar on her platform, let her. Because she's going to end up canceling herself. So those are the, I just went and searched it. Just wondering if, like, I'm like, should I take that some kind of, you know, sort of way? If, uh, you know, prove to me who she is. Oh. I just... Dude, I just was sent a clip of your live, and you're calling it a bullshit live. Like, that is my live. Like, I don't understand why, Me why you're, you're saying that stuff. If she wants to lie, that's her prerogative. But she should not be in a missing child's case doing that. 
or she wants to do that, then she should be fully prepared for the backlash she's going to get with that kind of behavior. She can't cry wolf. She can't act shocked about it. If that's what you're going to do and that's what you're going to allow, you're going to take the wrath that comes along with it. But I mean, yeah, I, I'm not for canceling, like canceling people. Like everyone can have their platform. Should she have one? Oh, fuck no. I'm not in a missing girl case. But again, I repeat, if that's the behavior she wants to do, so be it. She's going to get the backlash from it then. Like, I mean, at first, like, now it does seem like it was something against me. I don't understand. Why, I don't get it. Why, why you did that? Why I said Michelle's a liar? That's just, like, unnecessary, I said Michelle's like, drama. And now it's... See, so look how worked up she's getting. And literally all I did was say, Michelle is lying. Never said it was her. Never said her at all. Michelle's lying, Ziggy. Ziggy, Michelle is lying. Michelle could be who she says she is, but what she's saying is lies. And now she's like, why are you doing this? I just don't understand. Why are you coming for me? I didn't. I went for Michelle. Now I'm coming for you. I'm going to go around everywhere. Yeah. People are, because that totally looks like yeah, we think she was you're taking a jab sure at me. Thing. At first, like, until just now. I literally just now got a freaking clip. Liar. Like, at first I thought maybe it was towards Michelle, even though it, it did bother me. It was I've towards talked Michelle. talked to her for months. Like, just because somebody talks to Lawson, that doesn't mean anything. And then you lied. You totally lied and told everybody that you talked to him. There's no way you talked to him. Like but you said, you know. have an appointment tomorrow in the morning. So why are you so worked and up, though? if you though? haven't talked to him, why like, would that in matter? What way, in what way has, I mean, is somebody lying? Like, what has he said that makes you think that somebody's lying? Y'all heard it. You heard what I mean, I'm trying to be, was. like, fair here and stuff, but this is crazy. I don't understand. So, I don't know. I just don't know how to take that. Gaslighting, yeah. She wanted to so badly you know, flip something um, around on me that she and just she could like, not you know, handle it. And that's it's why so you're not funny. listening to my messages right now. I mean, I don't know what to think, dude. <laughs> and I said, just show me. I promise I won't show it. I think you all know. I wouldn't have showed it. I would have kept my word and not shown the picture of Michelle, right? And then I said, I need to know, is Ronnie Lawson lying to me or Michelle, right? And then I even told her, it's not you. No, it's not you. And then she kept saying, when did you talk to Ro Ronnie? I said, I've spoken to Ronnie like four times, which is true. Okay, but how did he lie? Now, again, she's trying to switch it. Well, how did Ronnie lie to you? What the heck? Like, how is Ronnie lying? Again, going, like, past what the actual issue is. And so uh, she said this just came out last night, which it was the night before last night. So that was just on her panel the night before last night. That has nothing to do with calling people or leaving messages or having Ronnie call me this morning right it doesn't matter when it happened it could have happened a week ago that doesn't fucking matter oh every time i go down it gets me away from the area i was at so then she twists it around to you didn't talk to ronnie tonight it's saturday you can't talk to ronnie totally getting off of the point that she's lying i even said it's not you it's Michelle. But then she kept bringing it back to, it's me. It's me. You're calling me a liar. Well, how'd you talk to Ronnie? How come Ronnie's a liar? And I said, I want to know, is Ronnie lying or is Michelle lying? Of course, you guys know how the game is played. I wanted more information from her. I wanted, actually, I'm glad she continued this up because it's actually comical. I said, Ronnie is out until tomorrow morning. And then I spoke to the usual old hag. I'm sorry, lady. I don't even know your name. I shouldn't have said hag. And then I said I shouldn't have called her a hag. She's actually very sweet. And then, uh, okay, go back. She said, okay, how did Ronnie lie? I said, how didn't he? 
I said, if he's not lying, Mishala is lying. But what did he say that is a lie? So here she is fishing what, like, she wants to know what did Ronnie say, right? Because she doesn't know. For all she knows, maybe I had Ronnie's number. I could have talked to him after hours like Michelle apparently does, right? But she's so hung up on, I said, because Ronnie said to tell Michelle, or there was a, Ronnie told me to put this out. Ronnie said, oh, here I am, Ziggy, on your panel. I'm doing this for Ronnie. So I said, oh, Ronnie just told me that Michelle's lying. Did I talk to Ronnie last night? No, I didn't talk to Ronnie last night. But it was all set up to talk to Ronnie today. And that happened. Is she still going to say that I didn't talk to Ronnie? What's funny is she is still saying that. She's actually <clears throat> still saying that my conversation with Ronnie never happened and that I'm a liar. She's actually saying she doesn't even know how I did that. How that I started that and talked to him. So she's actually saying that phone call is fake. Which is why I put the... Uh, uh, what you would call it, um, community post with the phone number. Cause we were like, so what you, so you called him for four minutes. That's not long. I didn't need longer than that, but it all happened live on Mr. Share's channel. You don't also have to call Ronnie Lawson's, uh, Hawkins, uh, Hawkins County Sheriff's department phone number, which is closed Saturday and Sunday. There is other routes. If Ziggy actually uh, talk to the people that we all talk to, submits information, submits tips like we all have, she would actually know how to get in contact with people after hours. Um, okay. She said, oh, that, okay, I gotta go farther than that because that's where she brings up the conspiracy. But again, yes. Oh, I'm exaggerating and I'm lying. She, yes, she was very butthurt, but her. I'm just now remembering okay I want to see where she tells me now that I'm wrong to google her and there is no article even though she said there was an article and there is I googled her she was the top fucking thing that showed up number one oh yeah because so she's all she's all uh about her she said but you said Ronnie Lawson said Michelle was a liar he did say that today. Funny how I knew that, that he would say that today. Hmm. Uh, you fucking lied, dude. That's what she said. You fucking lied, dude. Okay. So again, she was just trying to flip it around. She wanted to find something I lied to her about. Again, now when you're talking to somebody like Ziggy, you actually don't want to give Ziggy all your information. If I had Ronnie's house number and was talking to him after hours, I would never say that to Ziggy. Ziggy does not need to know who I talk to, when I talk to them, how often I talk to them, how I talk to them, what numbers I have, after hours, before hours, in between hours, on the hours. Ziggy doesn't need to know any of that that's how it works so then yeah she's like oh you lied <laughs> i guess i am just more disappointed have a good night i said oh well stop it she said no i'm serious oh wait is there more pictures up here oh yeah there is more up there oh so she brings up here's the funny I say, why lie and say Ronnie told her to go on your panel and say that? She could just say that. She didn't need to say Ronnie told her to go on YouTube and say that. And that is true. Michelle could have went on Ziggy's panel and just said whatever she had to say. She did not need to say that Ronnie lost and sent her there that night to do that. Because it's not true. Why she said that and acted like she was supposed to do that for Ronnie. I guess I'll never understand why she did that. But for attention. Like she's getting. And then she goes, you are doing this. Oh, wait, hold on. There's so much. I still don't get why you said she was lying. Oh, here's oh, you guys. You absolutely did refer to my live as bullshit. I said, how the hell are you, Michelle? Because again, I said Michelle was lying. Michelle was bullshit. And she said, you absolutely, she kept bringing it back to how I called her live bullshit. I didn't, but now I am. And I said, how the hell are you, Michelle? I said, Michelle was lying. Michelle was bullshit. She goes, I will send it to you. I said, nope, I didn't. Show me where, because I'm laughing at the bullshit is what I said. 
She says, I have a clip of it. One second. She never sent it to me, by the way, because I never said that. I am saying that now, though. <laughs> alert, alert, alert. Ziggy, your live is bullshit. Every live now, in my opinion, is bullshit. I said, has zero to do with you, Ziggy. If Even if I said that, I said it has zero to do with you. I never said that. And I said, I never said you. I said Michelle. She goes, but I still don't get how you say she's lying. She is lying. And, and it was simple for people to say or see even before getting on the phone call with Ronnie Lawson. It was simple to see. It was all fucking lies, right? And she was like, that's the thing. How the heck would anyone know for a fact? That's what she's concerned about. How would anyone know for a fact that Michelle is lying? How the heck would anyone know that for a fact? That makes zero sense. He's not going to admit to something like that to a YouTuber. And he's expecting people to be calling. He did admit it. If he was expecting people to be calling, he threw his friend Michelle under the bus today. Threw her. We ran her over. And then backed up and ran over her again. Because that's what Ronnie Lawson did to her. So if he was expecting us to call, I don't think he was. How come he didn't defend Michelle? Why didn't he say, well, like, th there was no defending his friend for 27 years of friendship. Where was that? He threw her out to the wolves, guys. He did not protect her whatsoever. So that's pretty shitty of Ronnie Lawson then, don't you think? whole bunch of people in chat say, Mark, you okay? I'm just letting Cher do her thing. Yeah. And y'all, I'm fine. I'm just tired. Don't be worried about me. I'm good. <laughs> I love when she's like, using me for content. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I said, I didn't say I talked to Ronnie yet. But yes, I do believe that Ronnie Lawson did not tell her to say that. Ronnie won't come on YouTube. She even said that. He's not going to say that. He's not going to come on YouTube and deny that. No, and she knew that. She counted on that so that she could get away with her lies. Again, right? We, we went over that. But you said Ronnie Lawson said Michelle is a liar. That is a quote. Yes, I did. I do not feel bad about it. I sure as shit did say that. Uh, and no, I did not talk. <laughs> and no, I did not talk to Ronnie Lawson uh, uh, directly last night. Nope. So yeah, I guess there. You got me, Ziggy. I lied. I didn't really talk to Ronnie Lawson last night. Oh, oh my God. Take it and run. Holy shit. Cher lied. But guess what? Exactly what Cher said last night, Ronnie Lawson said today. I wonder how that happened. It's a mystery. That is a really good mystery i i don't know how that happened how did i call i'm a psychic mm. i'm a fucking psychic i somehow called last night without talking to ronnie lawson exactly what he would say today when i said that we would have our phone call today remember that ziggy remember that let's write down some lottery numbers since you're psychic i know it and oh uh, okay uh She said she didn't expect this for me <laughs> to call out the bullshit. I, I was actually so shocked. Why was this happening? Why was Ziggy allowing this? And it just was so stupid, so tiny. I just, I did not understand why this was even happening. Okay. I have clipped it one sec. That makes no sense. He's not going to admit to something like that to a YouTuber. But he wanted Michelle to come on to YouTube and tell a YouTuber that he had the statement. But he's not going to tell a YouTuber that he didn't say that. Which is it? He's going to have someone go on YouTube and give a statement for him? Right? Because that's, that's, that's how it started. We're supposed to believe he told Michelle to come on YouTube and wanted her. He, she said, he wanted me to say this on YouTube. He wanted me to come here tonight and say this, Ziggy. So we're supposed to believe that. 
but we're supposed to be, he's not going to admit to something like that to a YouTuber. Which is it? I know. He's going to come on YouTube and give a statement with Michelle? Or he's not going to come on YouTube and say he didn't give a statement? Right there, folks. I mean, that is an oxymoron right there. Little chickadee, thank you so much. Of, Very I mean, sweet of you. you don't have to pay me, you guys, to, to bring this to you because it's what I feel is the right thing to do. And Italia, thank you for the cash app. Thank you. You guys are very sweet. Um, so again, she says, he's not going to come on YouTube and admit to it. Okay. I said, Ziggy, are you Michelle? And she goes, dude, you keep avoiding my questions. She didn't ask me questions. She asked me, how is, how does, uh, how is Michelle lying? Um, what lies did Ronnie Lawson tell you? Of course. I mean, if you guys know how the game works, it's much like how we had to play Don and Candace, right? So I'm saying things to Ziggy to get information from her. Clearly. And she goes, you keep avoiding my questions. I didn't. She kept avoiding mine, though. You are not explaining what you are saying. You should probably have conversations when you are sober. I said, want to take offense to me saying that Michelle is lying? Then okay, but you and her are two different people, right? So again, I'm trying to tell her, I'm not calling you Michelle. This is another thing that was weird. She kept taking this personally, like I was saying she was Michelle. I feel bad for saying Z's name in the, this morning. I was referring to the information on Jody Sue. Didn't even listen to her talking about other creators, however, share as my attention. Oh, well, I mean. No worries, hummingbird. Uh, she says, you are doing this all for content. <laughs> um, if you guys go back in my history, I think I had good content without ever mentioning Ziggy. Does anybody here think I needed to mention Ziggy's name for content? I'll wait. Because I did not need to mention Ziggy for content. You are manufacturing BS that doesn't exist. This is what she says to me. I'm manufacturing BS. All I said was, they are lying. They are lying. Ronnie Lawson is saying you are a liar. You are lying. You are making bigger deal of something that is nothing. You are manufacturing BS that doesn't exist. Uh, what, Ziggy? That's you. You're the one lying. You're the one manufacturing bullshit that doesn't exist. I simply said, you're a liar. That's the truth. Shan Camp, my love. I missed you. Hmm. Um, I said, so no, me saying Michelle is lying is not you, Ziggy. She goes, you're making a bigger deal of something that is nothing. I disagree. You lying and spreading misinformation in the Summer Walls case is a big deal to me. You can, and she considers her lying not a big deal, guys. That's crazy. Ziggy is saying that it, it, I'm making a big deal out of nothing. Do you guys think I'm making a big deal out of nothing? Or do you think that lying at all, big or little, matters? Because it is spreading misinformation. That's how the wildfires in this case absolutely go crazy. A little spark like that. It's not me, Ziggy. Exactly gaslighting someone said earlier, that's Ziggy. She is gaslighting, she's lying, and she's flipping it all around. It's her. But here she is saying, it's okay to do that. I'm making it bigger than it has to be. Barbie on the West Coast, I wish everyone would get along. Give peace a chance, the content argument. I tried that, Barbie, but I will never give a chance to someone who knowingly is lying and spreading disinformation. And in the long run, probably even lying about Summer's brothers too now, which we're going to find out and hurting them. They're still here. They can look back on this. That's damaging. This is not okay. And again, I repeat, if people find this okay and they are okay with this, unsubscribe for me. I'm not the creator for you, okay? I'm not. Thank you, Barbie, by the way, for that. I do appreciate that. I wish we could get along. I did try that, but I will not get along or be civil with people who are doing this at all. Watch your mod share. Okay. Who said that? And thank you for that. Italia. Italia. Okay. I think there were some people 
put in uh, hashtag cancel Ziggy or whatever oh. that was getting deleted because yeah that's a call to action that yeah actually, we can't do that yeah, can't our do that. i can get in trouble for allowing that we can't allow that and i actually am against cancel culture if ziggy wants to have a platform and lie and spread misinformation on missing children cases that's ziggy's prerogative it's not mine she will pay for that i but i'm, I'm against cancel culture everyone should have a platform is she using her platform for good no, tonight I'm going to say no, but I cannot call for a cancel culture on her, nor do I want to, to be honest, because that means all y'all could be canceled too. You don't want that, right? Mm -hmm. But lying is wrong, truly, Beach, exactly, 100%. It's wrong, and karma will take care of her. Karma is a very real bitch, okay? And if this is the behavior that she wants to have, and this is the kind of content she wants to put out, that's on her. I don't have to deal with that. I don't have to do that. And I certainly don't need to be civil or support people doing that. So I'm not. And uh, again, unsubscribe for me if you think that even telling the littlest lie when Summer Wells is still missing, if you think spreading the littlest lie is okay, I don't need those subscribers. I really don't. I'm okay. I'm okay with losing the subscribers. People use that against me all the time. Oh, look at your subscribers. You're going to lose your subscribers. Oh, sure. I'm unsubbing. I don't care. Unsub. Please unsub me. I don't need those kind of subscribers. No. Um, the four hours thing is nothing new. Duh. We know that. Again, though, did she act <clears throat> like it was new? Because the she way did. the way Michelle worded it was as if something happened to Summer and then they waited four hours to call mm -hmm. 911. And yeah. then, of course, someone said that TBI said Summer was last seen early afternoon. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, that's where I was. I went, I was going through trying to find where TBI said that. I can tell you I found about 30 instances where they said she went missing in the evening. So maybe they slipped once, but this wasn't a regular thing. Um, I said, I feel that you are the one making this a bigger deal. And I said, it's weird. She goes, why aren't you questioning other information I put out? Like, why do you care about this lie? Why aren't you questioning the other information? Guess what, Ziggy? You wanted me to. Now I am. And the first matter is going to be the whole child protective service person. Because let me tell you right now, um, if this is a real source, I promise you, you just got this source in big trouble. Because it's there's shit going down with that. It's either that or this is not a real source and no trouble is going to happen because it's another lie. And guess which one I'm going with? Because I'm a psychic. I could call. I called what Ronnie Lawson was going to say 12 hours before he said it. Pretty sure that there's nobody risking their child protective services job for Ziggy's channel. Funny how these people make their way to Ziggy's channel. That's interesting, isn't it? Isn't it? CPS worker finds Ziggy before she's even an up and going channel. Interesting. Because that is what made her channel. That's what got her channel taken off, right? Then, coincidence, Michelle hops on her panel at the 11, mark, 11 month mark on the 15th. Come on, guys. Doesn't take a rocket scientist. She goes, uh, why aren't you questioning the other information I put out? And I, oh, I said, right, we know that, Ziggy. That's to the, the four hours is not new. And then she goes, why this one specific thing? I put out more shocking info. Why this one specific thing? Why? Because I thought it was bizarre that you would go live and allow such a stupid thing to happen when everybody and their mom knew it wasn't true right off the bat. That's why. Why questioning that? I question that little thing. It's little to you. It's huge to me. 
Why? Because now it has me questioning every fucking thing you ever put out. Why? Because you lied and allowed that disinformation on something to you on something so little and so mis minuscule. I'm questioning everything now. Everything. That's why. Why did you allow something so stupid, so little to happen? Because now that's opening a whole can of, uh, I want to say whip ass, but not whip ass, a whole can of worms, let me tell you. And it's going to be, it's damaging for so many people, not even just Ziggy. It's damaging to the boys. It's damaging to Summer. It's damaging to these people who are supposedly putting their careers on the line and risking prison sentences of their own, all for Ziggy. I'm wondering why, why, why are they doing this for Ziggy? Why is Ziggy so special? Because, and people were saying, Aunt Cher's just jealous. This is coming out on Ziggy's channel and not hers. No, the fuck I'm not. That wouldn't have come out on my channel. That wouldn't have come out on his channel. And the minute someone started saying that on my panel, what do you guys think would have happened for me? Because you've seen it before. I'd be like, ah, no, 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 we need to fix, like, no, 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 that's, right? You've seen me, you've seen how I go about that. So the CPS thing, I would not believe you guys. Look at it. She's even saying, why this one little thing, Cher? Why are you so hung up on this? Just let it go. Weird. Oh, I said that's literally what my husband said like 20 times tonight. Dad, it's not new. That's the first thing he said. This four hours isn't new. We already knew that. We've all been for 11 months trying to figure out what the what fuck happened. What happened? Because they didn't plant cactuses for or cacti for yeah, cacti. four hours. And, I, and so then I said that. And I said, so we know that. And she goes, okay, so what's the issue? The issue is that you're lying. You're allowing lie. You're, you're allowing people to come up and spread misinformation. That's the issue. I don't understand what she is not understanding. And by the way, I would never come on my platform and lie on a sheriff or a TBI agent or an FBI agent. That's stupid. Mm. That's, that's one of the dumbest things you can do, Ziggy. So go run around and say that I'm a liar all you want when you literally have no clue. I could have freaking all of these people's house numbers for all you fucking know. I don't have to tell Ziggy how I get my information, who I talk to when I talk to them, right? We already went over this. I don't need to fucking tell you any of that. But what Cher can do is when she picks up that you're lying, I certainly can say things to you to get more information because I am actually glad I did because you kept more lie, more lie, more lie, more lie. You kept it up privately, which makes me concerned of what you tell other people that might actually buy the bullshit you're selling. And then I said, mm. shit, it moved again. Jesus, you guys just went back and forth. Oh. She just, yeah, and she couldn't get it. Well, yeah, you were there, so you fucking know. And I was getting so irritated. Like, what don't you understand? He had to read through all our text messages. Because I'm like, I don't understand, babe. This is crazy. I honestly felt like she was under the influence. Because I just could not understand. That's actually a, a problem, Maggie. Is A lot of creators do that. They'll just make something up, say a source told me this or I heard this. And people who really look up to that channel will take it for truth. And before you know it, it's a it's a huge thing. Exactly. Like we got we got to be very careful with what we do. Oh, and we've been caught. But I remember that one live where I can't remember what it was. We were hearing about an arrest or something. And so we like stayed in the live and we're like, okay, we're going to stay on until we get the, to the bottom of it. And then it turns out it was all BS. Hmm. And I felt, I felt shitty. But that's the thing. We didn't keep it going. We like today we were working, we were changing information with lips. Mm. We, we said something live. 
Lips quickly gave us more information. We corrected it. We did not continue the lie, which by the way, if we did, would have been a hot, a hot, hot thing, right? Yeah, would have been. It would have been a hot thing. It would have been, it would have been views, clicks, clouts, all of that. But we didn't want that. The first thing we heard went, oh, no, we're wrong. We got that. We, that was a mistake. We said that. We didn't continue mm -hmm. it to go. So people, oh my God, go to Prairie Ways. Oh my God, this is what you said. Da, 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 da. We could have done that. Oh yeah, I would have got thousands of views on where's that Where's the morals in that shit? That is not like, ugh, you guys. White Rabbit, I see you. Better late than never. Hey, White Rabbit. Alex, I needed to laugh, Sherry. Sure. You're too funny. Still way behind. Oh. <laughs> She's watching from, yeah. Alex, I love you. Okay, um, so she says, what is the issue? She's still not comprehending that lying is fucked up. I said, huh? She goes, it's the truth. Why would you think Lawson wouldn't say that? Ah, uh, because I fucking know that Ronnie Lawson wouldn't tell someone to go on Ziggy's YouTube channel. Not just Ziggy's. He wouldn't tell someone to go on anybody's YouTube channel. Nobody's. He wouldn't do that. Why the fuck wouldn't he just call WJHL and go and put that out himself? Yeah, that's the thing. Is the way it was worded, it was like, Ask, ask the YouTubers why they waited four hours to call 911. Yes. Why they waited. And she doubled down and said, here you go, Ziggy. Ronnie told me to come on here and say that. That's what Ronnie wanted me to say. Here you go, Ziggy. I did it here on your channel. That's when I said, uh oh, this is fucked up. This is just, it. I mean, pfft. So why would you think Lawson, Lawson wouldn't say that? Uh, we all think Lawson wouldn't say that. And that was proven today. Because bet your ass I'm believing what Lawson said today in the statement that he gave for me, knowing I was going to put it on YouTube. I believe that. Because why would Lawson throw his friend of 27 years under the bus like he did today then? Mm. Why? That's fucked up. So again, I repeat the same question that I had for you yesterday, Ziggy. Why are you lying? <laughs> Who's lying? You and Michelle or is Ronnie Lawson? The question still remains the same. Are you guys lying or is Lawson lying? Why did Lawson throw his good friend under the bus, his partner? Also, she goes on to say that now, I did look up her and Google her. She retired in 2016. Ziggy tells me that Michelle was just on a call recently. She was on a call. She's retired, though. So, unless mm. she just recently went on a call, and though she retired in 2016, I don't know how that worked. To me, that's another lie. Um, I mean... I am taking it as a personal attack, whether you mean it or not. Why? Why are you taking a personal attack on me saying Michelle lied? Do you guys see the problem here? Do you see what I mean when I say she is acting as if she is Michelle? I didn't tech her. I told her over and over and over again, it's not you, Ziggy, it's Michelle. This came out of Michelle's mouth. Not yours, Ziggy. This is Michelle. Are you Michelle? Why? Again, she'll, she says it again. I'm taking it as a personal attack whether you mean it or not. Why, though? Why? If I knew something bothered you like this, I would not do it. That's a lie. I don't think you actually thought that I would pick up the phone and get a hold of Ronnie Lawson. Probably because maybe... Actually, I don't know why you would think that of me. I think that everyone probably assumed the first thing Cher was going to do was call Ronnie Lawson. Right? I mean, I'm sure a bunch of you was actually waiting for that, were you not? Did it, did it shock any of you that I did that? Anybody shocked I called Ronnie Lawson? I'm actually shocked that Ziggy would be shocked that I called Ronnie Lawson. Somebody had to do it. I said, why lie and say Ronnie told her to go on your panel and say that? She could just say that. She didn't need to say Ronnie told her to go on YouTube and say that. It's weird. Now look what people are doing with that, Ziggy. They are literally now fishing and saying that they didn't call 911 for four hours. I just can't believe this, she says. And I said, like, what the fuck? That's crazy. She goes, I trusted you with info that I told nobody. 
I don't even know what she's talking about. I think it might be some of the CPS stuff that she's talking about. Again, I just fucking lost my spot again. Um, so she said, I trusted you with info that I haven't told anybody. Um, I don't think she did because she gave me information while we were all live. Remember that? And she did share it. She shared it live. I don't recall any information that Ziggy's ever given me that was private information. I can't think of anything. If she did, I don't think I ever used it because I can't even remember what it would be. She goes, I trusted you with info that I told nobody. I said, huh? And she goes, about J for justice. Oh, oh, she told me information about J for justice. The thing is, yeah, you might not have told everybody. I already know. Me and J for justice are friends. She tells me personal things. I tell her very personal things. She's in my wedding party. Like, I don't know what you thought you were telling me about Jay that I didn't already know. Maybe I acted like I didn't know. But there's a lot that I know that, yeah, I don't know. I don't. Like, be like, oh, yeah, I knew that. That's not what a real friend does. If you're telling me something about Jay, I'm going to act like it's news to me. I'm not going to feed into, like, banter about somebody that I consider one of my best friends. Sorry, not sorry. No. So, no, you didn't. And then I said, what? What the fuck? And she goes, you didn't call that out. I don't have to. I knew everything. And I'm not going to go and drag my friend about bullshit lies and rumors when... Like, I know the truth of it. There's a reason. And please believe, if there was something fucked up, I have called it out with Jay. I mm. absolutely did. Those videos are private now. But I did fucking drag Jay for a year straight when I thought she was doing the same type of shit and playing people and doing this shit. I dragged Jay. Ask her. She'll be the first one to fucking tell you. But I was wrong in that. And I knew I was wrong in that. And I forgave her. And I'm glad I did. Because after, there was a uh, private investigator who actually was being used as part of it. And actually saying, like, being used and saying that Jay was this or Jay was that. This person, who is a very decorated PI, actually came in my live stream. That very live that I interviewed Jay and said that, like, he, he buckled down on it and said that it he said free J. A lot of you won't understand that, and that's okay. But he was saying that it J was in the right there. Like free J. It was lies, it was rumors. What the lies and rumors was being said that she did, she didn't fucking do. I don't care what people choose to believe about someone I call a friend. I'm not gonna go and help spread the lies and misinformation. No, I talked to my friend. And if there was any weirdness like that. Jay knows she can come to me and say, Sherry, you like fucked up with this or like, why did you do that or whatever? Jay and I can go to each other. We've had little tiffs here and there. It's kind mm. of impossible when working on cases because emotions are high. But the difference is, is we are friends and we will talk it out. Her and I did get into a, a thing just a couple months ago over some stupid thing. I don't want to bring that back up again, but friends talk about it, work it out, figure out what the issue was and that's it. In true crime, emotions are very, very high. Mm. So don't say that I didn't call out Jay. I don't have to publicly call out my friend. I can go to her privately. Ziggy, you're not my friend. And I did go to you privately. Sorry, now I'm spitting mad. I did go to you privately, Ziggy, but you continued this bullshit. And I will not, you're doing it publicly, continuing the lies and disinformation. You left me no choice. In fact, I wasn't going to do this tonight if you were going to apologize, but you told me that I'm just crazy and making this all about me. I said apologize to Summer. Yeah, and then she went, did a live calling you out and then lied private. and said she didn't she was like i didn't say anything about you in my life bullshit liar and then i was like what info was that that you gave me she's like seriously you don't remember and i was like why the hell are you so butthurt that i don't believe this one thing it's weird and she goes omg really i said why she goes i'm going live and you can hear why i said and what the hell does any of that have to do with this why does Whatever Jay did or didn't do matter with the lies you told 48 hours ago. You see what the problem is here, guys? You see? 
but I'm the one who doesn't answer the questions. It's her. It is crazy. She just doesn't get it. I'm going to go live and I'll tell you why. And you can hear why. She goes, I understand you don't think that this is a personal attack on me. But the thing is, I am telling you, I feel like it is. Why? Why is it a personal attack on Ziggy for me to say Michelle is lying? I am repeating this a hundred fucking times. You may not feel it, but it is how I feel. I said, Ziggy, this is very weird, honestly. This is weird. She goes, I know people were going to... I know people were going to contact Lawson. Why'd you lie then? <laughs> I don't think she actually thought that they would. Maybe she thought, but she wants to hide behind Lawson's just going to lie. Lawson's not going to admit it. So she's hiding behind that. I knew they're going to contact him, but Lawson's not going to tell the truth. So again, I repeat. Lawson told Michelle to go on Ziggy's channel and release that information and a statement for him. But he's not going to tell, like, he's not going to uh, tell any YouTubers if he did tell her to do that or not. And again, I repeat, Lawson did give me a statement today and denied it. Why did Lawson throw his friend under the bus? I don't know. You guys be the judge of that. I'm pretty sure y'all have a decent head on your shoulders and can tell what's going on here. Again, if you want to say I'm the bad person, I'm about the drama tonight, this is drama, but I felt I had to come out and say this because I need to cause attention and bring warnings to what channels are credible in this case and what are not. Next month is a year. A year. And look what people are doing. And don't forget, this opened up a whole fucking can of worms that is going to be dissecting much, 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 much of Ziggy's content now and the lies and her sources. We've already started on that. This is going to be extremely uh, telling and damaging. Don't subscribe to me if you guys back her. I'm, I'm serious. Unsubscribe for me. Last night, she said that the boys wanted the CPS information to be shared. I can't with that right now. I can't with that right now. So I'm to believe that she has contact with the boys. Ziggy and Michelle have contact with the Wells boys, and they told her to go on her YouTube channel and share that. First of all, all three boys are minors. They do not get to choose that. They are minors. In no fucking way are they in contact with Ziggy and Michelle. Ziggy, I'm coming for you even harder than tonight now. If I fucking find a clip where you're saying that, if I find out you guys are saying that on that platform, there's trouble. There's actually already trouble because, like I said, we are actually getting people like law enforcement, FBI people, because foster children are supposed to be protected and you're putting them in danger. That's a serious, serious issue for everybody who, and not only that, there's a gag order. Shannon, thanks for calling out these creators who are worried about the almighty dollar. They need to be stopped justice for summer. Thank you, Shannon. I appreciate that. <laughs> I know people were going to contact Lawson. I don't even know what to say about how you're acting right now. That's what I said. Ziggy, I don't know what to say about how you're acting right now. You are not Michelle. Ziggy says, but I didn't expect this from you, Cher, is what I'm saying. How did you not expect this from me? I should have been the first motherfucker you expected this from. That, again, right there, she didn't expect this, right? I didn't expect this from you, Cher. I said, you realize what people are doing now because of what Michelle said on your live? You see it, right? I didn't do shit. No, I said, but I'm not believing Michelle. My husband doesn't believe it either. And yeah. I said, neither do many. She goes, exactly. I said, this is bothering me. Again, she's acting like she's Michelle. She is acting like she's Michelle. And it's weird. This is fucking weird. I said, fuck. There is no other way to say this, Ziggy. I'm sorry this bothers you. I can't help that. You are not Michelle. She said, you said Ronnie Lawson said Michelle is a liar. You fucking lied, dude. I guess I am just more disappointed. Have a good night. I said, LOL. 
Stop it. She goes, no, I'm serious. I said, I didn't even say I talked to Ronnie yet, but yes, I do believe that Ronnie Lawson didn't tell her to say that. Mm -hmm. Ronnie won't come to YouTube, though. She knows that. She was counting on that. She even said, I could get away with this lie because, you know, Ronnie's not going to come on YouTube and defend it. And I said, and Michelle knows that. She goes, you lied. He did not say that. <laughs> he did say that. You lied. Ronnie didn't say that. I said, LOL. Good night, Ziggy. She goes, you haven't even talked to him yet. I said, why do you care about people? I said, why do you care about people believe that? I said, it's weird Ronnie didn't tell her that. No way. It is weird that she's saying that Ronnie said that. And I am saying Ronnie didn't tell her that. I said, OMG, LOL. She goes, LOL. Why is there no way? It's not like top secret info. See, you see how she's counteracting this? She, how is there no way? She's counting on us knowing that Ronnie is not going to come on YouTube. But again, I repeat, she wants us to believe Ronnie said this on YouTube. But then we're supposed to believe that Ronnie won't come on YouTube and defend it. So is Ronnie coming on YouTube and saying shit on YouTube or is he not? This is not top secret info. We know that. There's no new info that she released. So why she would say that Ronnie's asking this now 11 months later? Again, this was planned, you guys. This was all planned for the 15th of May, the 11 month mark. And watch, she ain't the only one, but watch the bullshit she's going to be doing for the next month. This was just the start of it. I said, uh, do your thing, Ziggy. She goes, it's saying four hours, LOL. I said, I think you know it too, which is why your actions are so strange tonight. Shouldn't matter who believes Michelle or not. She says, okay, good. I gave you content. You just are stooping so low, Cher. That's what Ziggy said. Good. I gave you content. You are stooping so low. How am I stooping low because I'm calling Michelle a liar? You're stooping low by lying and helping spread misinformation all around the anniversary time for Summer Wells, who's still missing. One little lie spreads into bigger, bigger, bigger lies. So again, this is why we got to go back to what Ziggy's all said. Do not trust Ziggy's content, y'all. She is okay with lying and she thinks it's okay because... um. Nobody's going to come in and, and fight it on YouTube. We're, you know, that's her. That's what I said. You gave me content. Sure. Okay. LOL. Yikes. I said, because I don't believe Michelle. Good luck. Many don't. She goes, you want to backpedal now and say there isn't any, there isn't any doubt. Oh, I'm backpedaling. Comical. Mm -hmm. Ziggy says to me, you want to backpedal now and say there isn't any doubt. She is who she says she is, but you were wanting pics. But you, after you looked up and saw she wasn't lying, now you changed what you are saying. And I laughed at that because, welcome to the crazy train, Shannon. Choo-choo. Buckle up with the non-existent seatbelts. <laughs> um, I wanted a picture because I only heard the voice. I wanted to see what she looked like. So when I did Google and I saw what she looked like, Yes, I did not need the picture anymore. Me asking for a picture of Michelle has nothing to do with Michelle lying. So that's another weird thing. Ziggy keeps bringing up to me that the Michelle she had on her panel is not the Michelle that worked with Lawson. I didn't bring that up. That never even crossed my mind. Ziggy's bringing it up over and over again, though. I didn't need to see a picture of Michelle to try and compare the two. I didn't, I didn't have that thought. I said to her that that thought never even crossed my mind, Ziggy. I just wanted a face with the picture. For what? Thanks, Oh. I'll be quick. And treats. <laughs> <laughs> I said, silly, what? Didn't change shit. She's lying. That's what I am trying to say. She's lying. You know, grasping at shot is exactly aluminum. And she says, yes, you did share. I said, just because I asked to see a picture, I literally didn't know what she looked like. 
She goes, at first you were saying you wanted pics to prove she is who she said she was. Yet, like, I wanted to see her. I didn't need to see, like, was that the same Michelle? I never thought that. Because here, me, I thought it would be dumb for a Michelle who never worked with Ronnie Lawson to come up on a panel and say she worked with Ronnie Lawson. But maybe that's not so dumb to think now because... She certainly did not get a statement from Ronnie Lawson to go on Ziggy's channel and say. He did not say that. And then she goes, um, at first you were saying you wanted pics to prove she is who she said she was. I never said that I needed to prove who she said she was like that. I just wanted to like know was that like who she was. Again, I heard the voice. I heard her talking, but I didn't see her. And I said, and plus you even say, uh, people are saying it's two different people. Ziggy saying that. I said, and plus Ziggy, you say people are saying it's two different people. She goes, you didn't need to put a name with a face. Who the fuck are, are you, Ziggy, to tell me what I need? Yes, I did. Because I, I want to know. Some, you guys know like when you hear a voice and if you see a picture of someone, sometimes that person matches the voice. Sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes there's a reason why it doesn't, right? But I wanted a picture with the voice. Like, hello, what creator doesn't want to see a picture of the person that they're talking about? That's just stupid. Maybe people like Ziggy who lies and is okay with lies. Maybe that's the type of people who wouldn't want to see a picture. And she goes, you don't need to put a name with a face, LOL. Who the fuck are you to tell me what I need, Ziggy? I absolutely do need that. Because there's creators like you that fucking lie and spread misinformation. I told you, you could Google it and that it pops up immediately. Because I was sent the article by three people. Now, she's claiming... Michelle didn't send her the pictures. Three other people sent her pictures. But earlier on, she said Michelle kept sending her pictures. Again, she's lying over and over just in our conversation privately. That's why I say the things to her. Because she, I'm catching her in more and more and more lies. Just privately. Imagine the shit that she's lying about publicly. I said, yeah, to match the voice. To match the... Michelle that was on the pic, then I seen her on someone else's channel on a two minute clip of your life. So yep, I wanted to see a pic to match. So did many others. Welcome to the crazy train, Sarah. Choo choo. I said, but that has nothing to do with her lying, Ziggy. Someone looks doesn't mean she isn't lying, right? Right? It doesn't matter how she looks. A lie is a lie. It doesn't matter really how, how she looks, right? Every time I move my phone, it gets me, you guys know how Facebook Messenger is, it gets me out of the, she goes, but her pick is on Google. I said, oh, interesting. We got it off of Google, LMFAO. She goes, so she's telling me all this time, Google it, Google it, Google it. It's on Google, Google her, Google her. I say, oh, interesting. I said, yep. What'd I say? I said, oh, yep, interesting. We did. We got it off of Google, LLMFAO. She goes, huh? I said, it's on there. It's on there because of YouTubers. Yep, Google has it. Google it yourself, girl. I'm telling her she's right. Google has it. Her picture is on there. You're right, Ziggy. I got it. I don't need that picture from you now. I did what you told me to do, Ziggy, and I Googled it. Right? And she told me there's articles on there. Just Google it. Google it this way. It's going to pop up. It's the first to pop up. And here I say, okay, I did. I Googled it. Yep, Googled it. She goes, oh, huh? There's no article on there. And I said, it's on there. Or you can call my husband a liar too. She said, I did Google it after, it was, after I was sent the article. I said, I didn't say an article. I said I saw a picture. She goes, her pic isn't in the article. Actually, it is. I'll pull it up for you. It's a picture of her holding some kind of framed certificate and Ronnie Lawson there holding it too. Absolutely is there. I said, Ziggy, good night. You're acting weird. She goes, um, okay. I said, you can call us liars if you want. It doesn't bother me. 
She goes, you're being a conspiracy theorist. I'm being a conspiracy theorist now because I'm saying she's a liar and because I said I found her picture on Google. Like she's been telling me all night to fucking do. Now she's saying I'm lying because it's not on there. So you were lying to me then? You were telling me all this time to find it on Google. So again, you were lying to me? And then it shocked her when I did find it. Now it turns to, I said, you can call me a liar all you want. It doesn't bother me. She goes, you're being a conspiracy theorist. I said, sure. She goes, like, you're really looking into things way too much. That's what she said. I will put this in the community post. Like, you're really looking into this way too much. What? Who says that? Who says that I'm looking into things way too much? No, you're not happy with how much I'm looking into things because it's exposing what a fucking liar you are, Ziggy. Looking in it too much? No. And if I'm looking in it too much, buckle up, Ziggy, because I'm looking at it even more. And so are other people. So are other people. They're looking into Michelle. They're looking into the CPS worker who's leaking information to you. They're looking into why are they leaking it to you? What parts do you have in there? It's going to be a serious problem. So the better route is to find out Ziggy's lying and that she is the source and lying and making up this. That will be the best route because that won't get anyone in trouble or lose their job. So we will find out. Trust me when I believe you guys, when I say like, you guys beware of Ziggy because it's all, all coming out. And for her to tell me that I'm looking into this way too much is alarming. See that? That's alarming. What do you guys feel about her thinking that I'm vetting things too much? Why would another creator say that to me? Why would she be concerned? was how deeply I'm looking into something. You see that? Do you see what she said to me? Like, you're really looking into this way too much, LOL. It's seriously not this big of a deal that you're making it. Um, the fuck it's not. You're lying on Summer Wells. How the fuck is that not a big deal? How is that me looking into it too much? I'll repeat, Ziggy, you fucking made a mistake stepping to me. I'm looking into it way too much. I'm going to continue looking into it way too much. And I'm going to continue making a big deal out of every fucking piece of content that you put out now, Ziggy. Be prepared. Everything you put out now about Summer Wells, I am going to be digging into. Every fucking thing you put out, mark my words, Ziggy. Every piece of content you put out, I'm going to make it my personal mission to pick out the lies and disinformation and spread it around, sweetheart. Um, I'm going to be looking into it way too much. And I'm going to be seriously making a big deal out of all of it. So my suggestion is to you, if you want me off of your ass, Make sure you're putting out the truth. Make sure you're putting out the facts. And make sure you aren't using Summer Wells to continue lying and misinformation for a fucking YouTube channel. You better make sure of that. Oh, oh, I forgot. She fucking hates my cussing. I was like, sure, whatever you say. She goes, well, cussing and going live about four hours. I laughed at that. First of all, I never went live about the four hours. I never did that because the four hours is not new. That's the same four hours we have all for 11 months and two days been trying to figure out. She texts Brownie Lawson at 12 a.m. Who does that? That's what she says, but how will we know if that's even true? The only way that I will believe that is if she shows Ronnie Lawson's number. We call it and we find out it's Ronnie Lawson. Otherwise, I don't fucking believe shit. She can put out whatever text she wants to, put her live back out on public because I promise you when, when she does that, send everybody to this live because they should know. Actually, she's going to look dumb as fuck when she does that. I hope she does it. Give me more content, Ziggy, please. I said, good night, Ziggy. She goes, well, at least I tried to talk to you about this. I can say that at least. I said, I guess so. She, and I said, LMFAO, you are too funny, Ziggy. I'll handle, I'll handle your ass tomorrow. 
It's super funny. I said, I've screenshot everything too before you try to dirty delete all of these text messages. <laughs> I said, uh, this is today. I said, you owe me, oh, this is after the, the planned phone call with Ronnie, like I promised her I would have that I was so much lying about. I said, you owe me an apology, Ziggy. Don't ever call me a liar. By the way, you have no clue how I, who I have the numbers to or who I had leave messages with. By the way, you lied also saying TBI isn't involved anymore. Because going back, I told her about TBI, talking to TBI agents. She told me that TBI handed Summer's case off. If she's saying that shit to me, again, that's crazy. TBI is 100% still on Summer Wells' case. Do not believe that lie. I don't know what the fuck she was talking about whatsoever. If she's talking about Hawkins County, maybe that's what she meant. But I was talking about TBI when she said that. And she said they handed her case off. So she made it sound like TBI is not on Summer's case anymore. That's not true. And if she's trying to say Hawkins County passed it off, I don't know if that's true. If that's true, why had Michelle on giving statements for Ronnie Lawson then? And again, I talked to Hawkins County quite a bit. I call Hawkins County and they do answer. Uh, John Pruitt will even talk about it, which I don't know if he's Hawkins County or Cook County. Is that I'd say Cook, Cook County, Cook County. I don't really know. But either way, um, Hawkins County still does deal with Summer Wells' case. Uh, Ronnie Lawson puts stuff out on there sometimes, or he hasn't in a while, but you know what I'm saying. So all of the peoples are working together. <gasps> Bye, Jessica. I'd say you need a hobby, sweetheart. You're another liar that we just won't deal with. Um. Okay, and then I said, you lied also saying TBI isn't involved anymore. That's a lie. They are very much involved. You fucked up last night doing what you did, and you did drag me. I was blown up with emails and messages about it. I said, you can call me and apologize or don't. Your behavior to me last night was far from okay. And I had zero issues with you until last night. That's the truth. You all know that. I did not have issues with her until that bullshit. When I was like, clipped with me, right? Thank you for the super sticker, Farmer. Um... I said, they are very much involved. You fucked up last night doing what you did. You did drag me. I was blown up with emails, messages about it. I said, call me and apologize or don't. Your behavior to me last night was far from okay. I had zero issues with you until last night. I lost subscribers by backing you. That's true. As I'm sure you did me. Um, but you choose because I can, def I, I said, you chose because I can defend myself and show what you did to me. Or you can apologize for to me for how you treated me last night and how fucked up it was. She goes, I didn't drag you. Where are you going? She goes, I didn't drag you. I'm so disappointed in you. I thought you were better than this. You thought I was better than what? You thought I was better than calling out fucking liars who are making a mockery and also making it so people who are trying to help in Summer Wells' case are not being taken seriously because of the bullshit like you do. That's why. And you thought that, uh, that you're disappointed in me, Ziggy? I disappointed you? That doesn't make me feel bad. I'm, I'm glad that you feel disappointed in me because I'm doing in my heart what feels right. And you thought I was better than this, Ziggy? I thought you were better than what you're doing. I was wrong. For the way that you are talking doesn't even make sense. Thought that I was better than what? Calling Michelle a liar? Do you see how she's acting? And all I did was say Michelle's lying. Look what Ziggy is acting like. She says, guess you didn't see my emails or messages, but too late. You just did the irreversible. I don't even know what that means. Oh, she sent me screenshots. She made a post, I guess. Share, I didn't say anything bad about you on my live. I still like you and am not, and am not, and was never mad at you. I know you took my live as something bad, but I was really just hurt and disappointed. I felt you were discounting my feelings about what I was trying to tell you. First of all, I don't know why you had to make this a public thing. I'm pretty sure you made it a public post because you knew what I was doing tonight because I told you what I was doing tonight. 
lip lock no more have a good night um so i told you so you this is you trying to cover your ass because you 100 percent did drag me at like 3 a.m and you did drag me privately so fuck out of here with that she deleted it all by the way so that tells me that was just a kiss ass to try and stop this from happening she goes, I said all good things about you. I said I liked you and you were a good person. You once again have taken everything wrong. You already put out a community post trying to state it was a, state it as a fact that I'm a liar. I called Michelle a liar. Until now, I'm saying you're a liar because you did lie over and over and over again. I don't understand. I called Michelle a liar. She's saying I called her a liar. Is Ziggy Michelle? I don't fucking know. Because there was a Michelle on her panel. So no, she's not Michelle, right? Unless she, like, I just am so confused by this. I don't understand. How do y'all think Summer feels about all this? Please stop. I'm not, yeah, I'm not. I don't know if you're talking to me, Scotty Skulls, but there's no fucking way in hell that I can allow people to lie on Summer's name, even something so fucking little like that. Because it makes me wonder what else bigger are you lying about? So, yeah, Scott, I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't. I can't know that this is happening and not say something. It's it's not right. And Summer wouldn't fucking like that at all. You're right. And, you know, I'm sorry. Not everyone is going to agree with what I'm doing. And that is okay. All as I know is that I'm heated over this. It shouldn't be a fucking lie. Big or small it shouldn't be a fucking thing and certainly not on the anniversary time of summer when she's still missing no fucking way no 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 i said i'll watch and see she says i don't care about losing subscribers for backing someone the fuck and see i don't i'll lose every subscriber i don't care all i can do is what i know is right and i have always on my platform gone after people who do that bullshit. and then she sent to minions after me oh sure cares about his money and clicks and views really i have raised thousands of dollars on my platform for equisearch and uh domestic abuse organization i we all, a lot of us have helped raise money. Don't say that that's all I care about. I have literally done all nighters where it goes to charities. I have turned off my um, super chats many times, even on her birthday. I was one of very few people who turned my super chats off. In fact, I streamed on my non monetized channel on that time. And um, yeah, our community has helped raise lots of money. I, I helped do that. So I don't wanna hear that bullshit. I really don't. Also, you'll notice that I'm one of very few people who aren't on here every day, eight, nine, 10 hours straight, streaming, 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 streaming. I'm one of very few that backs the fuck off and won't come on every day. And I'll be real. I actually could use the money on coming on every day and streaming for eight, nine, ten hours. I I could use that, but I fucking don't. So fuck out of here. She goes, it's all too late now. I said, I'll lose every sub gladly if it means doing in my heart what's right for summer. She goes, I don't believe you. Don't fucking believe me then. I literally don't give a shit. I said, honestly, I thought maybe you were drunk last night. She goes, you are exaggerating and lying. What have I exaggerated about or lied about? Tell me. I don't understand why you're doing this, she says. What the fuck? Why, why don't you understand why I'm doing this? She goes, I said all good things about you last night. I just said I was disappointed. I said, how the fuck am I exaggerated and lying? Wow, you're totally unstable, Ziggy unbelievable i said you can make up whatever you want i don't have to lie ziggy it's literally all proven thank you cotton candy boobs and i said oh so you didn't drag me last night she goes i cannot believe you just immediately posted stuff and went live like that and told people i was lying about something like that i don't think i went live last night nope 
I didn't. We went live on Mr. and Mrs. Share last night, but that wasn't about this. Maybe it spilled over and maybe I did sit, call out the liars. But again, I called Michelle a liar. Okay, Michelle. Um, I didn't even know she was coming on my panel. I said, oh, really going to say that and then still say I'm lying? KK, you shouldn't have allowed that. You knew it was lies. And I said, and she wasn't on no recent calls either. Hasn't been since 2016, because that's what she tried to tell me, is that Michelle was on a recent uh, call. I said, um, also, she didn't text Ronnie last night. I, and she says, I am saying you're lying by what you said on your community post about saying I knew she was lying. She did know she was lying. There's no way you didn't know. that. There's just, there's no way. There's no way at all. And she goes, you're acting like I'm part of some kind of conspiracy. I said, you need to re-listen to your own life. And she goes, no, she's not lying. I said, you literally said it yourself. And she did. She prepared people for maybe this is all a hoax. She let her come on and lie, but at the same time was saying, it could be a lie. I don't know if we can like, like necessarily 100% like say that this is true. Because all we have is said. So she's like saying this and she's setting it all up to say like, so that if it does come out that it's a lie, she can say, I said like, we couldn't, we couldn't know for sure. Or I said it might be a hoax. You see what I'm saying? If you have somebody on your panel saying something like that, but you're also saying this could be a hoax, this could be a lie. Why are you doing it then? Why are you having that live before it's vetted better than that? And like I said, yes, all of us have had lives where things come out that might not be true. I put a video together by mistake that had people thinking uh, Don was retracing his steps to a whole different thing. That was a mistake. Mistakes do happen. But do you let it continue on as a mistake and let people continue thinking that? Or do you say something? Do you change something? I do still have to change that video. But Scott, Scotty Skulls, Hey, Scott H, by the way, Scotty Skulls brought that to her attention. I think that this is where, you know, that there is some issues. He said it live. I didn't shut him down. I didn't tell him stop or whatever. I was like, you are right, you know. And he, I think, went on and shared on his channel too. And we continued on telling people there was a mistake that Scotty Skulls pointed out. I do have to remember, and I am going to write that down, that we have to change those videos. But... After Scotty Skulls brought that to our attention, me and Mark both did make it a point to continue reminding people that, and again, I'm saying it again, that's not the proper way Donovan's were chasing his steps. That was a mistake. People have guests on that say whatever. You can't control what a guest is going to say, right? We understand that. But there is a line that creators can cross. Creators can stop it. They can fix it. They can say, you know what? That, to go on and say, this could be a hoax, this could be a lie, and allow her to keep talking, that's wrong. I would not have done that at all. I would have been like, well, okay, well, hold on, we got to do this better. And you've seen, you guys, where I have done that, where people are like, or I've even stopped people in chats. Don't say that. I can't even remember what the most recent thing was, but I was deleting it and I'm telling people, please don't say that in chat. They're going to take that and run with that, and that's not true, or we haven't vetted that yet. You guys know I do that. Or the people that know me well know that we do that. So anyways, it just keeps going on and on. And she's saying I'm a liar, whatever. It, it is what it is. But um, no, and Scotty Skulls, you're right. Summer would not like this. And maybe what I'm doing isn't the way to go about it. But for me, I want to know that I am watching somebody who is credible in this case. It's been 11 months now. Next month is one year. And I do not want to see this shit happening. It's discouraging. It's not helpful to Summer. It's not helpful to Scotty Skulls, who drove from Michigan to Tennessee. He lost his car doing that to try and put correct information out, to put things so we could see Hawkins County through summer's eyes what's how summer would have been seeing it there's ways to go about things the proper way without lying not even one little lie not something as stupid as saying ronnie lawson told me come up here and say that 
one little lie like that matters to me. Because she's still gone. And I repeat, if you're going to do one little lie like that and say, why are you blowing this up? Why do you care so much about this one little lie, Cher? What else has that led to? What other little lies have been told? What other little lies spiraled into bigger lies? That's why. That's my problem with it. I just, I'm not okay with it. And I'm sorry that some of you think I'm handling this wrong. Maybe I am. But I can only handle this the way that I know how. And yeah, I have to tell my viewers and my supporters, I do not feel that Ziggy's channel is a credible channel for Summer Wells. I don't. I really, really don't. That's, I, I mean, I'm sorry, not sorry. I hate this for summer. I, I really hate it for summer. <sighs> I hate it for everybody. I hate that we all spend our time and we spend our time listening to this. We want to help. We want to do it. And then here we are. What's a lie? What was a lie? What spiraled from a little lie to a big lie? We don't even know now. Question the lady popped on and said it. My question is, how did an ex-law enforcement officer not know this would happen? Right. Right. I'm going to... Um... Oh, wow. I mean, longer than I thought. Sorry, I haven't really been answering much of chat, you guys. But you you know, when I'm on a roll, I got to get it. I got to get it uh, out. Um, I, I got to... I'm going to... I'm going to share my screen one more time babe Howdy. do you work tomorrow yeah. ah poop I'm you, oh shoot Okay, I will admit that I did. I got overly, uh, I don't know, excited. I did get petty today making that call. But I was up in the middle of the night being called these ridiculous things and playing this game with Ziggy. And it was frustrating, okay, for her to turn around and just try and twist things and go around. I'm going to say you're a liar. Da, 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 da. I was pissed. I was tired. And so, yeah, I will admit I was a little petty this morning. I was having fun with it. I also get so sick of the shit. I honestly have to. I, 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 I'm a very sarcastic bitch. I do. I, I, I can get bitchy sometimes. And. You know, there's some times where I just deal with it. I deal with it. I deal with it. I, I act a fool sometimes. I'll admit. Do I wish I handled this morning a little bit classier? Yes, I do. At the same time, no, I don't. I'm not going to apologize for it because she played it out like this. However, for Summer's name, Summer's sake, yeah, I do wish that I was more classy in how I dealt with this this morning. That's the only reason why. Don't do it. Okay. Hold up, wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna pull that up again. Again, no, I'm not 100% proud, but I am not, I'm not gonna lie either. I, I'm okay a little bit how I acted, but I will admit that um, this isn't something I'd want, like it's not a side I would want Summer or her brothers to see of me, okay? But um, like I said, you push a bear, you push a bear, you push a bear. It's going to snap eventually, right? So let's just play this again. Am I sharing screen? 
Am I sharing screen? I think Matthias went to uh, yeah, for a run. Okay. Oh, sure. Is actually talking with law enforcement about what's going to be going down. Ronnie well, exactly. Yeah. Name on them. So I'm just questioning because I don't think Ronnie. Beans. I don't think that Ronnie Lawson would tell her to do that. So that's why I'm calling you I this morning to don't see. Think so either, but I'll just it, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Hawkins County. Now, before Mr. Sure come out, there was a whole conversation. I was put on hold two times. Like I said, I don't think Ronnie Lawson was going to give a statement at first until I brought up michelle's name and what michelle said and how she said ronnie lawson wanted him to do that that's when they were like okay hold on <laughs> so yeah um let me just i want to do sarah murderer sarah murderer one second peeps one second one second Okay. Um, just a reminder, I have some new members and a couple new mods. You see the credits that I show at the end of every stream. This gets updated um, every couple weeks to add new members, new mods, take away members, take away mods, whatever. It will get updated. So if you don't see your name now, it will be added. So just, just so you know, I do play a credit role after a little something that uh, Hubby put together for me so that we could make you guys feel special. Our members mean a lot. Our subscribers mean a lot. And our moderators mean a lot to us because they help our platforms and our community be what we want it to be. I try to drag Cotton Candy Boobs up here all the time to be co-host, but she's shy. But Saturday, me and Trulia Beach and Cotton Candy Boobs and I think Shuby Mom are doing a private live. It's just going to be us four and we're coloring our hair. It won't be live, but it'll be the four of us and maybe that will get her into coming on a live stream. <laughs> but I'm super excited for Girls Night on Saturday. Okay. Now back to this. Here we go again. Not proud of my behavior. Sorry, not sorry. Sheriff's office who are saying Ronnie Lawson did not ask Michelle to do that. And they're all very confused why Michelle did that. On the phone, Ziggy. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Mm -hmm. Live, live, by the way. Sheriff's office. They're all saying, mm, no. Coming for you, Ziggy. It all while chasing my cat down. Oh. <laughs> fired up. Yeah. Hey, true crime, the other stuff. Yes. Scotty Skull's channel. Credible channel. Good channel. A channel that's not harassing people. A channel that's been there to Ben Hill Road and was very low key, but gave us all the sites. Um, actually, it's, it's the number one that I recommend um, to go because. <sighs> Scotty Skulls cares about summer. He hates the drama. I know that. Um, and I do dabble in it, but that's just, that's me. I can't help it. I'm feisty. I'm fiery. It's just, I've tried. If you guys knew my platform three years ago, I've come a long, long way, but I would not be me if I also didn't put out there how I'm feeling. That's, I think, also why a lot of you do support me and follow me because i'm i wear my heart on my sleeve really but i mean the drama is there sometimes but yes if you want uh reliable content content that is showing ben hill road hawkins county through summer's eyes with no drama no chaos no um causing disruption at ben hill road that's the channel to go. Scotty Skulls, I believe you're blue. Please drop your channel link. And I do recommend people go there and check it all out. He's got video after video after video. His drawing is amazing. And he drew, um, I, he's probably drawn multiple pictures, but I'm thinking of the one that we watched him draw live. Beautiful, 
sketches of summer like go to that channel j for justice another one go to that channel uh my husband prairie boy go to that channel um white rabbit deals with some of summer wells um i can't remember. i still go go to white rabbit's channel um i'm trying to i'm i'm not saying people and i'm sorry it's because i'm put on the, oh benny keys i don't care if you love or hate benny he was there smack dab in the middle so again go to that channel i don't care if you love him or hate him if you care about summer you will be following that channel so hey show and she's dancing to the whole music it was Oh. Guys, it was early. That's not really my dance moves, but whatever. Me a liar, bitch. Oh, I'm not happy with myself right there. Okay. It's going to go down. I've been YouTube in a long time. Hey, So Mr. Lawson said, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? They made a media statement. They already made a media statement? He did, he did not ask her to post anything. So Sheriff Ronnie Lawson just told you he did not ask Michelle to post or say anything on YouTube? Right. Thank you so much for your time, and please thank Mr. You're Sheriff welcome. Ronnie Lawson for me as well. Have a good day, ma'am. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm coming for you, Ziggy! Okay, again, not proud. <laughs> I mean, there it is. Again, why lie about something so small? So, uh, y'all, I don't even know. <laughs> now, I am going to pull up the credits full of beautiful people's names. Uh, we still need to all be alive tomorrow. We got to find the cat's name, Scotty Skulls. We did taken that cat because the community has been actually funding that cat so june 7th is the vet bill we got to get him fixed we got to get him neutered we do have to have a separate area for him because chubbs hates him right now so um and then plus before he gets all the shots we got to keep our cat safe we got to keep them safe him safe and then um after he has a surgery for a little while we got to keep him separate so the other cats don't fuck him up and all that so he now scotty skulls is partly your cat too we don't have a name but we have a list and we're going to be doing um we'll do that tomorrow we got to name this cat tomorrow because i've been calling them all different names to see what sticks kai i call him slink a lot that seems to be the go-to is slink uh i like dusty shadow chance uh sensei i like sensei a lot too um let's get these credits and kind of wind down and lounge with some people um on our way out i don't know who's live right now but we'll we'll figure that out Yes, it's a boy cat, yeah. Slink is cute. Oh, that's cute. Slink is your favorite so far? That's a good one, Carrie. I'm gonna go grab them quick, actually. I love Kai, but anything you choose. We're thinking about getting a list of the names together and someone mentioned having the kiddos to name him.
I've been calling him Slinkalink. He's like a slinky. He's long and skinny. Slinkalink, this is all your family. What do you think? Oh, you want to run? You're scared of the microphone. Okay, hold on. Mama love you. Oh, 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 okay. Look at that face. What do you think? Say, Kong Candy Boobs, good night. I love you. Shubi Mom, good night. I love you. Thank you, everyone, for my beautiful pink collar. Yes. And all my kitty treats. Yes. All right, you guys, we will definitely see you tomorrow. I'm going to do a hot topic sour in the morning and probably be live, live tomorrow evening. Hi, Miss Daisy. Oh, oh, Lunar's good, Trulia Beach. Um, wow, y'all, over three hours? I don't know when I've done a live like that. That wasn't a study session. So um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for Hot Topics and then get serious again. I don't want to keep dragging people. But, however, this one little lie spiraled and made me uh, want to seriously investigate the number one thing is the Child Protective Service... Uh, source so i am i have to i just for me i have to say lovey hey share whatever you need to if you guys feel that anything is useful share it um you can sh clip that it's uh 24 minutes and 40 seconds into mr shares uh last live that he just did this morning timestamp is 24 minutes and 40 seconds in it's a four minute and seven second call Take it, use it. Um, I will say I do not recommend people calling other creators bitches mean names, but I am fed up. So, I mean, I, I can't condone that. Whatever, to each their own what they do. But um, I will say I do not find her now a reliable uh, source for the Summer Wells case. And I'm now wondering what all is lie. Is if something so little could be lied about and then weirdly twisted and all of that. So um, again, we are 11 months, two days into this. Summer Wells is still missing. And um, we don't need even a little lie. We don't need that. So, um, and I'm, I'm sad that we are here today and she is not found yet. We don't need it. We don't need creators playing into that. We don't need creators helping in even a little lie, right? Because it reminds me like I'm going mom here and giving this metaphor of you make a little snowman, you roll that in the snow, you get that big ass snowball that makes a snowman. It spirals, people, and I ain't having it. Ziggy, you made a huge mistake and um, discredited yourself, really. Miss Daisy. All right, y'all. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you to the new members. Welcome to the Crazy Train. Choo choo. Thank you, everyone, for the super chats and the super stickers. I really appreciate that. And to my mods, thank you for keeping this a place that's fun with open opinions and um, having my back and having the community's back. And thank you for helping rescue animals. Love you guys. <laughs>